Welcome to the SC2K show, the best of SC2K here on the SC2K. This is Ron Moore along with Bushido Blade Warrior, the J-Man, Gentoo, and for the first time in five years, Nico Tink or Wee Guy. Nope, not sorry. <laughs> Actually, I, I, yeah, I, I was, before we started recording, I kept on saying Wee Guy because I've known him as that for so long, but no, he's, he's now Nico Tengoku. How's it going? All right. Going good. Medic. All right, and weren't you, uh, weren't you formerly Chun Li, Li guy? I think that was part of my one of my personas. Yes, somewhere. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Jitu gave him that that uh, persona. Yeah, I thought I remember that. Oh, yes. From Street Fighter Two. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> All right, and so we had a lot of fun here. A lot of fun here on SC Two K. That's it, guys. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. No. Yeah. Uh, All right. That's not April Fool's Day anymore, Ron. No kidding. And so, yeah, I mean, as you guys know, we are, this 2K channel has pretty much ran its course as far as Let's Plays. And, uh, I mean, so it, it hasn't, uh, we haven't really done much on the channel probably since 2020 or 2021. I mean, last year we had some cool interviews with people like, uh, was it Zombie GLT1, Goblin, uh, earlier this year, Omega Ace Gaming. That was a good interview. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we did our good best best job experiences podcast instead of the uh, horrible job experiences uh, with J-Man yeah. and Bushido Blade Warrior, and that was fun. Yeah. And But as far as LPs, um, that's, that's been done for a while. Like, that was that's kind of a long story. In 2020, I was trying to finish Metal Gear Solid before I had to move to Mexico, but I really could not. So Danny had to record the rest of the footage for me of Metal Gear Solid, the boss battle and everything. And then I think finally it was finally me, uh, yeah, me, Danny, and Mexico finished a commentary on that series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we good. And that was the last LP that was done. Um, I tried to do Sons of Liberty, but I, I just got to the point where I'm like, you know, I, we don't already have time to, to uh, schedule Let's Plays anymore with anybody. Like, Danny might be busy, or I might not feel good, or something might happen, and... It's so much easier to do live streams these days, and I, yeah. that's kind of all I did anyway in the past few years. I kind of just lost uh, – 2019, 2020 is when I slowly faded away from Let's Plays and just started doing, doing more more live streams full-time. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. yeah. I had to say, it's, it's pretty much run its course. There's, a, there's so much more streaming than Let's Plays anymore. Yeah, that's what I said in the End of an Era mm -hmm. video on S2K. I said – is, I think Let's Plays are dead, kind of. And it's kind of sad to say that, but, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, I'm one of those people that drifted away from Let's Plays. I mean, man, I did it for, like, about 10 years or so. And then I got into yeah. streaming in late 2016, early 2017, and that's where, to me, that's where it was at. I mean, you can ask Nico. You, you get into the streaming scene. You get you get addicted to that, and it's, it's, it's just so much fun in, in, in some ways. You get yeah, more, more fun. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Let's Play's almost kind of like shifted from doing them all pre recording and all that to just live streaming it. That basically kind of took over, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember first, late 2016, I wanted to give streaming a, a shot. And uh, man, I did. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I had to really learn things and learn OBS. I finally had a new computer that can handle streaming. And I said, man, then it just took off from there. And Let's Play's kind of slowly. I was still doing, like, Let's Plays here and there on both channels, but, man, by 2019, 2020, I was, like, hardly ever doing Let's Plays anymore. If if I were, it was, like, rarely. I remember DuckTales was one of them. J-Man was in, I think that was J-Man's last SC2K uh, Let's Play appearance. Yep. Uh, um, and sometime after that, I mean, I think I might have picked up Metal Gear Solid. And uh, after that, I tried to do Sons of Liberty, and... I just, I just scrapped it. I said, yeah, I, I just, I'm just going to let it go. Like, I'm done with the Let's Play scene. Uh, so SC2K has, you know, and, and it's not completely dead, but for what it used to be, it's pretty much, you know, like J-Man said, ran its course, where Let's Plays have ran its course. I mean, we had a great 10 plus years on this channel, and I thought, you know, since we, SC2K is kind of, changing or like the only thing we're going to do from here on out is like sc2k shows whenever we have a new idea for one interviews um and whatever i mean why not talk about our best memories on this channel yeah i mean 
you know, of course, we start with 2009 when Jeff's mother was made her appearance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Hey, put your clothes in the dryer. Right when I said, three, two, one, play. And I'm like, uh, welcome to put your clothes in the dryer for the NES? <laughs> That's when you know it's a good start. Right there. <laughs> yeah, man. Then S2K, a legend was born. <laughs> It's a great yeah, start. and J Man basically <laughs> getting Jeff out of the chair. Yeah. Oh, jeez! I think that happened like a year later or so, and that was like a long yeah, inside a long inside story to that. But uh, yeah, it was actually at a, a convention. Yeah, um, Econ something. I don't fucking remember. Yeah, and but I mean, Jeff was a integral part of the channel. Star Soldier yeah. was a big part of the channel. Uh, Green K4 was a big part of the channel. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, we had some people that did a lot of stuff with us. Debt Fan did some stuff with us for a while. Yep. I mean, and we had a lot of people make appearances. Tibbs did several commentaries with us. Ravnus Spectre did some commentaries with us. Mexico. Uh, I mean, various people over the years have did commentaries with us. and uh, But some may, may maybe one appearance and that was it. Now, there's some people, like, I go back, Rich Review Tech USA did commentary with us <laughs> one, yeah, one time yeah, unfortunately. back in 2009. I mean, no no one really knows about that except us. I mean, Yeah, and they were talking about, uh, what, Raping Monkeys? It was, that was some weird shit, man. Oh, that's that was Charlie and Rich's sense of humor for you, I guess. Um, and But, I mean, looking back on it now, like, you know, I don't, I don't watch uh, Rich's channel anymore, but I, I used to be a fan of his channel, and... And it got me to think, you know, Rich was on this channel. Rich was on the S2K channel before. Like, think about that. And uh, Billy Mitchell came close to being on the channel. Who's that guy? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> and Bear13 uh, came close. How oh, can I forget to mention Bear? Bear was a big part of this channel. Yeah. I mean, Bear, yeah. I mean, dude, like, Bear13 did a lot of stuff with us in the beginning, uh, 2009. When he... Art Alive LP. Oh, yeah, Art Alive. I think I the deleted it. The yeah, the Lost LP, but it's it's still in memory. The times on that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I remember Art Alive. <laughs> I think I was like high on some kind of medication when we were recording that. Probably so. I almost feel like we purposely like not like sabotage it, but definitely like acted a certain way just because it was such a. The, there's nothing game. to say about the game, so we just <laughs> did what we did on that uh, LP. Yeah. All I hey, remember, uh, all I remember was on the seal. Oh my god! Yeah, taking hey, that uh, to the extreme. Remember Rocky and Bullwinkle? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> def definitely in my top. It's there are moments I always replay the quotes or lines, but the like ending the the disgust part. Yeah. I love that, that at the end. Yeah, I, I remember, uh, what was it? Uh, I watched that recently, parts one and two. The, the description of part two, uh, Rockwe and Bull Chintu. That's right. Bull I was, Chintu. we did the voice acting. We committed to the bits till the end. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Except J-Man goes, no, after your Rocky voice, what the f is going on with this background here? You got pipes sticking out. It's a weird background. Like, what, what? What's up with that? And then... The best part to me was we guys raging in the end. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I remember that. It was late. I was in the freaking laundry room because I needed to be away from everyone when I screamed. Just, <laughs> oh, the Having to play such crappy games. It's gosh, I rem it's amazing to think that that era, 2009 and 10, just what I was working with, too, as far as like locations and my mic. It was just like, wow, I was very, uh. Very limited, but I made it work. Limited and rumbunctious. Yeah, so, you, some commentaries. I was in like my mom's car because the oh, yeah, I remember laptop that. I had <laughs> yeah, could reach yeah. at least through the Wi-Fi. So I and I was just like, there's too much noise in the house. I'm gonna go in the car and record this commentary. Yeah, that was a part of Super Metroid where it got. Yeah, I'm in the back seat of my mom's car. Lols. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I think that was Sweet 16, too, or when that... Yeah, bro, uh, Sweet... That's 2009, right? We got you turned 16? Uh, I think so. Yeah, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I still am amazed he allowed me, a 16-year-old high schooler, just, you know, to be a part of this whole thing. 
I think it's because I knew retro games, and I so I was hip and cool, and I could have done it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that was is one of the parts of Super Metroid where we said Happy Sweet Sixteen to Week I. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's October third, right? Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh, I do now remember. You have to give me something. The Wii Guy's yeah. old name was like Wii Guy 1003 before he got uh, the 309 back. That, that's, oh, yeah. that's the thing. Jintu knows the most freaking me, him, and Ezekiel or Viper. That was That's yeah. that's super old school. That's taking it a, a couple more mm -hmm. years back. But yeah, it was Wii Guy 1003, Wii Guy 309, the Wii Guy, and now just Nico Tengoku. Straight away. I I remember I used to call you a uh, We Got Formula 409, and you're like, oh, shut up with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we could have just simply called him uh, We Guy 619. <laughs> Maybe if you lived in San Diego. Probably, yeah, if I was, would have gone with that. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you wear your Rey Mysterio mask. <laughs> I actually have two of them because my wife gave them to me, but. Yeah, um, oh, you mentioned Viper. I've recently watched his Reggie Prey met Meltdown video. God. Oh, God. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I, man, he was so young back then. The guy, he was like probably 15 or something. He goes, I mean, I, yeah. I'm tired of this Rets Supre. <laughs> I'm like, who? Oh, Rets Supre. <laughs> yeah, Rets like, Supre. Rets Supre. And I think. I remember my run in with him, too. Uh, yeah, that's that too. right. My dumbass was like still young to the the internet and shit so mm -hmm. i started like bad mouthing shit and i was like yeah i'm gonna fucking kill you red spray mm -hmm. oh wow <laughs> did they do a video on you uh no they like a bunch of people like shit on me oh okay i remember they did a video on magus yeah i remember that one the mode yeah, seven that, that was like yeah, early. Early. but yeah, no Dracula. i actually did i actually did contact like slow beef and beat us and i actually did apologize to them and Slow Beef actually responded back, and he was like, oh, don't worry about it. That was years ago. It's all cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Back when that was the most, like, internet drama happening on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, uh, you, know, you know what pisses me off? Is that we never got retro spray. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did that to ourselves. Yeah, I was going to say, we kind yeah. of did that to each other. All right. It, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Especially with the Terminator 2 LP. <laughs> uh <laughs> Like, oh uh, man! God. Which Terminator Two LP? The one for the SNES or NES? The NES, the good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Judgment Salt. Yep. Judgment <laughs> Salt. Oh my, my goodness! Oh, These yeah, old references good. are really coming back to mind here. We're gonna get into a lot of that stuff. Like uh, in the third level, where the rest is like, "Come with me if you want to live." I was like, "Come with me if you want salt and your spaghetti." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's we all salt. That salt. Yeah, have that, you ever had salt in a? Have you ever had spaghetti in a hospital? No. It's not even like it has no taste. It's like you have COVID. Wow. Uh, maybe Ooh. like an IV or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Can I be this this taste from the spaghetti? Well, that salt reference came from. Uh, I tried to do a, a stream on UStream on for SC2K our New Year's SC2K oh, show wow. for 2010. And that failed. Too much lag. My computer couldn't handle it. But I think there was an ad for Morton Salt, and uh, that is where Gentry came up with that that joke yeah. or something. Oh, yeah. God. But man, uh, and we finally did get to stream like maybe seven years later when I got to streaming, because <laughs> I was do some streams on SC2K as well, and had some fun streams on on this channel, not just the Romwar channel. Um, yeah. But uh, this 2K ma was mainly like for Let's Plays, and then my Rumor channel is starting to focus more on streams. And but man, like the Let's Plays, we have uh, like a, a lot of play playlists on this channel, and and you know started with my playlist, and uh, when we first started in 2009, Ninja Gaiden, uh, and and that part it was uh, and and that that series it was uh, me, J Man, Green K, and Jeff. Uh, and I don't think it was We Guy. Yeah, I think We Guy made his mm -hmm. debut in the Wrath of the Black Manta LP, which which would be done next. That was a good game. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wrath of the Black Manta. I remember that one. Yeah. And uh, that was a fun LP to do. I mean, me and J-Man were, like, doing commentary on that. Uh, and there was a part where... Uh, the, that game was hilarious. You talk to those kids that are kidnapped, and you see, like, they, they all look either kind of funny or, or one one kid looked like... Michael Landon, uh, gray-haired Michael Landon, like, how old are you, kid? What? 
And there was another one that looked like, uh, I don't know, maybe a five-year-old shaft or something. And Kid had the Benjamin Button syndrome. <laughs> shaft? You know that shaft is one bad mother. Shut your mouth! Yeah. And there was one, there's a girl, J-Man said, Molly Ringwald. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that when I said uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger on accident? Yeah, and uh, you <laughs> wanted me to, you want to record commentary over that again because you're afraid people are going to say, oh, you said the N-word. Yeah. And then, yeah, like a year later, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, man, I don't, you're like, you don't, you didn't care about that point. You're like, man, I should have left that in there. That was, that was an accident anyway. Who cares? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the Dirty Harry LP. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, that game was this so hilariously. It was cool, though, in the beginning. Go ahead. Make my day. My day. Like, that was the only good thing about the game. And then, the yeah. ending. And and then your day was fucked. Yeah, I'm playing that game. Yeah, never got past the first level ever. Uh, I mean, geez, like also remember first the, level's the, longest. What was that? The, the the one room where you go in there and it says hot. Oh, and you get trapped. trapped. That, was, that was such BS. I can't believe they did that. Like, why would you do that, I mean, man? I know the troll, but come on. And that's it's funny because uh, the first level's like completely bullcrap. Then the second and third levels just complete linear. Yeah. And uh, my favorite LP to this day on the channel is Metroid. Metroid's always and been fun. That classic. Yeah, now Bear made his debut in that series. Um, and I know, uh, oh, I forgot which part it was. Uh, me, Jeff, and uh, Nico were in that. And uh, I think Jeff said, oh, yeah, my mom has some uh, game consoles. You know, she had a Nintendo back in the day. And, and, and Nico goes, oh, cool, I want to meet your mom. And Jeff's like, um, okay. <laughs> Why? She sounds cool. Has games and stuff. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot about that. Well, I still go back and listen to some of this old stuff, man. Like I might have a, like take a shower or something or multitasking. I'll have a playlist to shuffle through some of my old stuff or, or your playlist or Gentry's playlist or whoever. And just listen to this old stuff. And I'm like, ha, I remember that. And I feel like I should take a shower after some LPs. I tried, and I just, oh, when I listen to myself, I'm just like, I cannot believe that oh. that was me. I still Yeah, it's like one of those showers where you're on your knees, crying. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> or I hate it when, like, well, we don't have ads on our, we're not a montage channel unless it's a third-party ad, but I hate when I'm listening <clears> to a video in the shower and a freaking ad plays, and you got to try to reach out of the shower and, and uh, you know, dry your hammer you quick and yourself. skip the ad, yeah. <laughs> that's why I try to like play, like scrub through the video first, let the video end, and then replay it. And that's when the ads don't play. So uh, you gotta remember to do that if you don't want to. Or try to listen to something when I go to sleep, and then a freaking ad plays. My like, oh, dang it! Don't hear a stupid ad. Thirty minutes ad too. Sometimes I'm like, oh, shut up about this new type of soap coming out. Uh, manly soap and you know and manscaping. You're talking about Doctor Squatch, aren't you? I, something like that, yeah. Like you want to be, a, you want to, you want to use a real man soap. Sounds like a, a a discount Johnny Lawrence from Cobra Kai. Shut up, trying to be all tough and manly, talking about BS soap. Yeah. Jeez. Which, by the way, if sc 2 k was Cobra Kai, uh, I would be Danielson. J Man would be Johnny because of drinking, and um, mm -hmm. we guy would totally, we guy would totally be Miguel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> totally. And, and you know, da yeah. Danny would that's be. That's the first thing I, th I, I thought when I seen Miguel was like, that's fucking we guy. That's a decoy for to catch a predator. <laughs> and Danny would be Bert. <laughs> Danny is Bert. Yeah, yeah for sure. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, um, so Metroid, that was the most, uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun with a lot of Let's Plays on this channel, but Metroid's my personal favorite. It might be because we were just getting started that year, and it's Metroid, and we were all d new to doing this together, and it was, man, it was great stuff. I really enjoyed that Let's Play. Um, and then I did Streets of Rage 2, uh, and then, yeah. Super, yeah. Streets of Rage 2, uh, started getting to Sega games now. That was cool. And the Super Metroid, that was the part of one of the parts where we wish we got Happy Sweet 16. And uh, part 15 is called Let's Play Super Random Off, -top Off Topic Commentary. Hmm. Part 20, I remember that one. It's called Let's Play Super PMS Metroid. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember that Mother Brain. We were like, uh, as if Mother Brain would do commentary, like, like the tr or you hear the train, we're like, oh, shut up, train. <laughs> and J Man's train making appearances as also uh, one of the S two K regulars. <laughs> That's our mascot, the train. Yeah, the train. <laughs> I mean, Classic. Remember one night, J-Man lost it. He goes, all right, shut the f up. Stupid <laughs> train, enough already. Jeez, shut up. And uh, Castlevania. Oh, for the I don't have to do with that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I did uh, Castlevania um, for the NES, and that was when uh, Charlie would do commentary with us, and Jeff was in commentary with us, and Charlie's stepson, I think at the time, Graham, was in the background, kind of commentating, being random and yelling. And then Charlie whispers to Graham, say, you know what, Jeff? And so Graham gets on the mic and says, you know what, Jeff? <laughs> and Jeff goes, you know what, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> the strictly saying of Australia and America. Yeah. Even though Jeff, like, got away from that a long time ago. He's, he had a YouTube channel called Games Time, but he never really did anything with it. I guess he kind of just um, didn't have time to do anything. Fell over. What's that? It fell over. <laughs> oh, it fell over. It fell through or fell over. Yeah, I got tipped out. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I didn't finish some of these LPs. This is back when I didn't finish LPs, and I kind of thought that was okay, and I realized, oh, I probably should finish them. <laughs> so I, like, did Shinobi 3, got to the end, that was a fun project to do. That was when, uh, unfortunately, Patrick Swayze passed away. And I think yeah. um, I said something. Oh, or, yeah, like, uh, Bear goes, tubular Patrick Swayze. And J-Man's like, oh, come on, Bear. Too soon. Too soon. Mm -hmm. And Bear's like, hey, I, I like Patrick Swayze. Yeah, but too soon. And I think Bear said, you're too soon. <laughs> and we had uh, Shinobi, Shinobi Thress, Return of the Ninja Rookie. Uh, Good game. Shinobi Three, re Shinobi Three, Return of the Karate Novice. Yeah, yeah I love when you just added titles into the, the yeah. parts. Yeah, and just like yeah, yeah. Let's just add this in there, or just like do puns. Yeah, someone got kind of butthurt. I think I put a uh, let's play Chronic Trigger, and someone in the comments saying Chronic Trigger, really f you or something. I forgot what that's like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for checking out. Forget the video. you. Yeah. <laughs> One star power. One star power. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny because like I thought Charlie had one starred uh, the closed caption video, whatever it was, of S two K, and it was actually J Man that did it. It was me. It was me, Austin. It was me all along, Austin. Yeah, it is. It is crazy around that time still. I like these LPs, like I think this is just around the time YouTube was switching to the the like button. So like twenty ten was the last time they uh, had the star system. Yeah, yeah it's fucking bullshit. Yeah, now you I hate it. This one, unless you uh, have like a browser extension. Yeah, you can't see anymore. Yeah, the... yeah, and that's that's stupid right there. But also, I I've, I hated it when they got rid of the star system. I always yeah. hated that. Never liked it. I'm like, really? Come on, that was a good system, man. Uh, but it is what it is. And um, after Shinobi Three, I did Castlevania Bloodlines. And I've renamed some parts Ca Casablanca Bloodlines, Casanova Bloodlines. Um, that was, uh, of course, an epic uh, project to do because that's, uh, I think I said, I could pronounce one of the names right. I said Ver Ver Versailles, Versailles Palace, and Jeff goes, Versailles, Versailles. Oh, okay. Excuse me, that's how it's correctly pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, J-Man, get it right, okay? Yeah, um, yeah I'm going over <laughs> Man, Jeff is such a delight. Plus, even uh, his wife Jennifer is quite a delight. I don't know if I even spoke to her really. Mm. I mean, last time I really talked to Jeff, like he was, it was a live stream of Metal Gear Solid Two back in during the quarant the height of the quarantine, and uh, he was a little drunk and just saying annoying <laughs> annoying things. <laughs> kind of get, getting on me and Ravnus Specter's nerves. Uh, oh man, I watched that. And I'm like, dude, I do not want to hear this from Jeff. Yeah, I forgot some of the stuff he said. But it was a little like just annoying or risque. Like, whoa, dude. Like, I think I forgot who passed away around that time. But he kind of made a joke about it. I'm like, whoa, dude, come on. 
Too uh, soon. He was a little. Yeah, that's too soon. And he was a little. He was tipsy and drunk. He admitted that before we started because he was kind of drowning his sorrows, being in quarantine, trapped in the house, I guess, so to speak, or not be able to. Or his job. Well, he had his own business, but I guess his business is not essential, so he had to close down for a little while. And mm -hmm. I don't know, but so. That was like the last time. It, that is not, that's not necessarily why that was the last time. It's not like, oh, I'm done with Jeff. He, you know, forget that. But, like, uh, I just messaged him about it, you know, saying, hey, you're a little annoying, man. Like, next time chill out or something. I forgot. But he didn't He didn't respond back to that. But that's not even why he stopped doing commentary with us. We just never, um, like, I guess never had any projects for him to be in anymore. He didn't care to, to be in them. We still, we're still cool with each other to this day. But, yeah, that was like the last his last appearance. Um, but I mean, like he would do uh, a lot of, he did a lot of stuff with this. Um, I mean, of course, yeah. 2009 was a strong beginning for us. He did plumbers. Don't wear ties. Uh, <laughs> Best oh, yeah. like, you know, I ever. Okay. Real quick. The fucked up thing about that one is that right before we were going to start that ABG. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I was thinking. ABG already did it. Uh, that's what I was thinking, man. Like, oh, we were about to do it. And then, so it looked like. We, we got the idea to do it from ABGN, yeah, like, and it looked like we wanted to ride off his coattails, like, but that's not true. We were in the making of doing it. Apparently, he was too, but uh, he beat us to it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and, then, and then we tried a video I, response, and nope. Look, yeah. I've heard oh, that. Yeah, remember video responses? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Quite a few times, and it never gets old. Yeah, the video responses. Man, that was great. Uh, Corn Shack accepted the Rocky and Bullwinkle video response. Mm -hmm. And I think Sicko fan accepted my uh, video response of uh, uh, thinking that fighting game that sucked. I forgot what it was called, but Survival Arts. Survival Arts, yes. Uh -huh. He accepted I that. I remember Survival Arts. Pink trash bag man. Man, he he accepted that. J Man recorded that footage for me. Yeah. Yeah, because you were what in a mental hospital or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. When I said you were, I said J Man recorded this for me. He's in a mental hospital right now after recording oh, this footage I've... for me and. I, I, the deal was, if he did that for me, I would. I think what was it? I would do a. I would do a. Mm -hmm. Let's check out of a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that was another fun. Uh, let's play on the channel. Uh, I mean, I know we're kind of going to be all over the place here, but I guess it's all right. Um, that was 2012, I think. Stuff right there. Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Let's play Star Soldier and We Guy were in that. You play as yeah. We Guy in that game. <laughs> yeah, I am the blue guy. <laughs> yeah, hmm. yeah, blue, yeah, the blue guy, Razor Ramon. No, rest in peace. Dang it, too soon. Too, no, I just uh, heard about that today. I can't believe. Wow. I thought you would have hit me up about it, but yeah, uh, I, th well, I, yeah. I guess I thought. I guess I thought you knew about it. Jody. I didn't. Jody told me about the same day that he had. He was on life support, and I was like, "What?" And then uh, I don't know why I didn't talk, hit up hit you up about. It. I guess because we we kind of don't talk much. Uh, he, and, and I guess I didn't think of hitting you up, and I guess I assumed anyway that you were probably heard about it, or I mean, pretty much everybody had heard about it. And but yeah, that sucked. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Scott Hall. Scott Hall, you'll be missed. Oh, and that's right. Speaking of Scott Hall, is that DDP actually had a video posted on Instagram where they were just play wrestling each other, and that was the end of it. Yeah. Just to pay a little respect to Scott Hall. Yeah. And in case any confusion, uh, well, I know Nico doesn't know who we're talking about because he's not into wrestling. But um, <laughs> yeah, Scott Hall had he was going in for a hip hip replacement surgery, and that caused complications, which caused him to have three heart attacks, and that's Fuck. and that's what put him in freaking uh, coma and on life support until what? it yeah, and then until his family what? made the decision to uh, uh, let him go. Oh, and so, yeah. And I, I was thinking about Kevin Nash. I felt bad for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kevin Nash probably took it the hardest. Yeah. Remember that one time where Scott Hall posted a photo of his Christmas tree and there was porn in the background? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I never, was that an accident or he just didn't care? Probably an accident. <laughs> I remember. Seems uh, like a happy accident. He was just being a man. We, we can't hide our porn with shit. Yeah. I mean, we're animals. We're men. Like, he's supposed to see his chicos. He's like, hey, yo, chico. I'm a man. I'm Reza Amo. Uzi mm. Machismo. And, um, but anyway, dang it, back on topic. 
back on top. <laughs> you know what would have been funny? If we actually had Master Hand in one of our commentaries, but no. That, I was about to say something like that. You know, he, he would have been welcome, but he wouldn't have been welcome to be so controlling anymore, which is what kind of spawned this channel. I don't, right. I don't even know if he would have been welcome, because he probably would have started crying or something. Ah. Yeah, and I mean, like, because the, the RA Fanboys channel, I mean, it's his channel. He can he can do whatever he wants with it, but on this channel, I would have not allowed him to be like, y'all need to stay on top. I'd be like, dude, chill out with that. Like, I get it. We do have a game to commentate over, but, like, allow allow a little leeway. Like, don't be so, no, you know. You, you're not playing the game. I'm playing the game. That's yeah. it. It's like, yeah. I'm like, come on. Like, like, I get it. He was playing the game, but, you know, he just kind of really took that a little bit too seriously. and uh, Way too seriously, even though I wasn't involved in that, but, yeah. Continue. Uh, other than that, he was a daggum good reviewer. Yeah. And he was. <laughs> Controller and, throwers disagrees. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> wow. Oh, the days where I would like every once in a while host a video game review contest. And that one guy got so butthurt because uh, Master Hand won. Oh, man. Yeah, that was fun. But, uh,. Well, that was on the Ron Moore channel, this 2K channel. Um, Star Tropics is another fun. Now, I know we're venturing to 2010 here. I guess I'm kind of going by one playlist at a time. I, I mean, if any of you guys want to jump in, like I said, this is going to kind of be all over the place. My but debut. Because it's, yeah, your day. Oh, was that your debut, debut, Star Tropics? No, my debut was that, uh, what was it? I think the worst game podcast? It might have been, oh, yeah. Uh, the worst worst video games uh, <laughs> podcast. Uh, that. But it, was that your debut? I really don't remember. It was one of the one of the podcasts was my debut. I think it's Nico that kind of brought introduced you to our channel. Yeah. Oh yes. yes. You were co snap Frost Nova back then. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Jeez, we all had well I always I always had Ron Moore. Uh J Man was J Man four six two four one. Like, hey, how's it how's it going out there? This is J Man, J Man four six two four one. And then just got shortened to the J Man. We guys and his numbers got shortened to the We Guy. Mm -hmm. And then uh uh, Small Tummy Wonderful is now Bushido Blade Warrior. Aye. And, uh... That's the only one that didn't shorten. It, 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 got, it. <laughs> yeah. it got longer. It got added it to his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And actually, right before the Star Tropics LP, that was when I finally was like, you know what? I'll do one. And that's why they target Renegade. That's yeah, my, oh, most, yeah. in, my most influential NES game because of the soundtrack and why it got me into video game music and all of that. That's yeah, right. Good music, shit game. Yeah, with the, I mean, a soundtrack is awesome, but it was a it made for a fun project. For we got, I mean, dang it, I did it again for Nico to do on uh, SC Two K, and it was his first one. And uh, I guess humble beginnings. Well, whoa, dang it, something fell over on my end. Uh, it was a great. It was a good game because you had like Bret the head. Bret Hart enemies. You had the Jason yeah. enemies. Yeah, that was that was one of the things that's always like everyone's in this game. Look at us. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, the Michelin Man, the Michelin Man. I remember the big guy throwing tires. Yeah, yeah. I never got tired of him. Um, and <laughs> uh, the puns. I was a humble beginnings because we guys audio quality was bad, and we guys. I mean, dang it, Nico's a professionist. Perfe yeah, perfectionist, perfectionist, perfectionist. When it comes to that stuff, and so that was like, well, uh, yeah. And the audio quality what? was very. Uh, well, again, it's the first LP on the channel, so I mean, well, like I said, I was working with some headset that was—it wasn't even like p nothing proper for audio. It was just like something you would use on Skype once, or like call your grandma or whatever. It's, yeah. it was, I was working with a very low quality headset mic, and obviously, yeah. as far as like perfectionist in terms of like the like music project with Abe Stare, I mean, this was still two years off because the Let's Play was 2010. I didn't start Abe Stare till February of 2012. So yeah. we were still ways away, but that was the start of being like, wow, this soundtrack's awesome. I'm going to do stuff to with NES music to like make it better. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all good, we guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the worst audio ever. <laughs> yep. Pretty well, double dragon true. And um, I um, we proceeded with uh, Star Tropics. I've renamed some parts. ECW Tropics, Star Soldier 1 Tropics, uh, Gunstar Tropics Hero 21. Oh, 
<laughs> trans tropics because Mikey, a uh, Mike dresses as a disguises as a woman to enter that that ki the kingdom of women, whatever it was. She oh yeah, she cola. Yeah, she cola. Yeah, she -cola. Part nine was Star Search Tropics, uh, where you're inside the whale. Mm -hmm. Oh whale. Um, well, we could have gone with the Jabu Jabu pun, but yeah. Or Leviathan, if you're playing Final Fantasy II. Oh yeah. And part eleven was so, Lost Tropics, because I was really lost, did not know what to do. Part thirteen oh, yeah. was Star Tropical Depression. <laughs> part fifteen was Star Trek Tropics. And that was it. Uh, well, I mean, there were there's all the different names I come up with, and then that's when Death Fan started joining us, I think, on a regular basis in commentary. He was in some Star Tropics parts. That was seventeen parts, because that's a long game. Man. Yeah. That was a fun game, though. I love Star Tropics. ECW ending. Yeah. Um, I guess we got you want to talk about your projects for a minute. I gotta step away for just a second. I'll re be right back. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we we had Target Renegade. Just the start. Every game I did, I always it was always had a bomb soundtrack. That was the main thing I cared about at the time. And uh, I think next was Ooh. Batman, which uh, this is, oh, why'd you have to go, Ron? That contains one of my most favorite things I always say all the time, even if I'm never, you know, in context um, with the line. I just like to think about it. Mm -hmm. And this is before the final stage, and it looks like a, a Mega Man castle. And so Ron Moore was like, "Here we go, Skull Castle." Oh, <laughs> just oh yeah, just for some <laughs> reason that always just comes back in my head every so often. I just thought when, it was a funny line. Uh, not to cut you off, sorry about that. Um, no, it's all good. It was the first part. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> drugs are bad. Yeah, that's good. right. Drugs <laughs> shot by Batman. Yeah. Uh, Here we go, Skull <laughs> Castle. Which, by oh. the way, Nico, yeah, you played those games are. fairly well. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that, Danny? Oh, the, the parts of him playing Target Renegade and also Batman for the. NES. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I just uh, stepped in on a, I heard y'all talk about Batman, and I was thinking, yep, here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. Exactly. That's what I mm -hmm. always think about from the LP. Um, yeah. So it's just a funny, it's just funny. It just stands out. I'm just like, ah, I guess, yeah, it's like Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, it's just but one it's of those, not. one of those one-liners mm -hmm. uh, in the history of this channel that stands out. Of course, yeah. uh, probably one of the most notorious ones of the Black Turn White. Yeah, that's among the. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, among well, the. That was Bear's yeah. LP of a uh, Super Mario RPG. Yeah, did, yep. uh, didn't you hand it over to him? Like you started it there. Uh, right no, that was Chrono Trigger. He took over Chrono Trigger, but he started the Mario RPG was all his. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah, yeah, that was a fun way to do. Oh man, like I, now that's one of the projects I didn't watch that much over the years. I'll go back and listen to some of those. I'm like, I don't remember this at all <laughs> i yeah, don't remember most stuff with most stuff with bear was uh, quite a ride but it usually yeah. made for just <laughs> wacky times yeah and those were good times yeah and, and but bear was uh he could say some disturbing stuff but he was he was a funny guy and uh mm -hmm. yeah he was <laughs> it's kind of like like he would just uh you know he would be in there i would say comic relief well all we did was comedy stuff pretty much as far as like being funny and, and all that stuff but he would he would say some things like it might kind of make you cringe, and uh, like what what we talk about uh, Batman being hard or some, or something like that. I said Moon Hard instead of Sunsoft, and uh, yeah. he goes, "I'm getting hard watching this." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Bear, that, that was like, like that's when he really came out of his shell because when he first started with us, he's very quiet. I guess because he didn't know us, and yeah. Uh, yeah. but once he came out of his shell, man, he's. <laughs> Yeah, like there's a, you know, you got to hear his true, uh, you know, sense of humor, his commentary. And that's cool, though, that he felt comfortable with us uh, doing that stuff. Like, I remember, I think it was, uh, I think it was Tibbs that told me he was very nervous at first because, you know, doing this type of stuff with people he didn't really know. I mean, he kind of knew me already, but like, uh, he, he really felt like he belonged in Twilight Princess Part 8. Um, that was where, that was the fire temple. It was me, J-Man, yeah. Nico, uh, Tibbs, and it was just us four, if I can remember correctly. Um, that was a long fucking series. Good yeah, God. and that was, yeah. that was a long game. And yeah. it was fun. It was fun. It was worth it. Um, oh, yeah. 
And Tim said he really, hey, that's where that he belonged. Um, where I was racist again and, and asked what the different colored uh, rupees were. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he, you saw, and you asked, uh, did, and did the, the rup- black ones, they he, actually took. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was funny. We got, uh, Nico said, yeah, that's when uh, the, the, the black rubies actually take rubies away from you. <laughs> you started laughing. <laughs> It's what it's what it is. <laughs> yeah. What else do you want from me? <laughs> but yeah, it's oh. that shit is hilarious. Oh, yeah. oh hilarious! <laughs> yeah, that was one of the best parts of that project of that LP. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was uh, and Nico was in a bunch of those. Uh, the Four Simple one was funny, uh, and there were some that were kind of like eh. You know, but that, there was some good. Like part eight was definitely one of the parts that, that stood out of the, with that LP. Another commentator I forgot to mention was Bio Phoenix. I don't know if y'all remember him, but yeah, he's. Yeah. A, I haven't talked talked to him. Well, I still go to him in his live streams sometimes, but he was a pretty good uh, a commentator, chill guy. He made his debut in uh, my Let's Replay Shinobi Three, and. Uh, yeah, so he, he was cool. He also did contributed in several parts. Donkey Kong Country 3, Mega Man 7, I believe. He did, he did some stuff with us. We also had Rockstar Gaming Extreme or whatever his name was. Yeah, I, he does He does pretty good over on Twitch now. He's doing mm-hmm. his own thing on Twitch. Better commentary this time. Uh, he's he's a cool dude. always liked him. Uh, his commentary was a little bit eh back then on S2K, to be honest. But he was a fan of the channel, and I got to know him, and he wanted to take part of it. And I said, sure, let's, you know, give him a chance to do it. And then after a while, he kind of disappeared. And But on Twitch, he's improved with his quality and commentary and stuff. So he's doing pretty good over there. Um, I know there's other people. Uh, Minecraft Martin. I was about to say that. Yeah. He, he came yeah. into my stream on Twitch, like, back in 2019, 2020. And that shocked me. I'm like, whoa, dude. Hold on a second. M- Minecraft Martin. Dude, what's up, man? Like, he shocked me. He came in there out of the blue, but he hasn't been back since. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but I, I haven't streamed much on Twitch anyway. But like he would, when I was stream on, continue to stream on Twitch a little bit, he would, like he didn't show up anymore. But he has said, uh, yeah, I'll, um, I forgot what we talked about. Um, I guess he just tr- got got back onto social media or whatever. Or thought he still had a Twitch account. And he saw that I was live and said, I mean, I haven't talked to this guy in a while. Let me go into his stream, and that shocked me, man. But. That was like years ago now, and he kind of disappeared again. And he he was great on SC2K in the short time he was here. Didn't mm-hmm. we have like a podcast of uh, like fighting games? Yeah, I think we talked about uh, best. Like Fi- Instinct, Street Fighter 2, of course, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did that. My co- my coworker at the time was with us in that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we had some, we had good. some good uh, shows too, like discussion. I know we call them podcasts. I guess they don't feel like podcasts, but. Discussion they panels, um, oh, yeah. ECW casts, uh, <laughs> where we interview cool yeah. people like Magus, um, Star Soldier, Raven Inspector, uh, Stuart Shafet. I mean, give Jeff props for that, mm-hmm. getting Stuart Shafet on here. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, we came close to having Billy Mitchell, but he kind of, I guess he kind of stood us up from what I heard. Um, sure. Well, you got Mr. Billy Mitchell. Yeah, Mr. Billy Mitchell. He was in the Batman LP. This is Mr. Billy Mitchell. Yep. And Bear says something. I forgot what Bear said. Like, oh, you suck, Billy Mitchell. And you go, at least I have a job. Yep. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Billy Mitchell is a hack for sure. Yep. Watch out. I was in the yeah, Suez. I, dang it. The Carl Jobs guy. Oh, yeah, Carl. Carl Jobs. Oh, no. Yeah, he, I, li- I like his stuff. Yeah, he's a good person. Uh, dang it! You go, we're gonna get sued. Shut up, Danny. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh well. Um, and let's see here. Um, yeah, I would, I would continue to do uh, LP. I'm looking at my first playlist here because I have two playlists. Because for some reason, uh, 200 videos were the limit at the time, and I had to make a Ron Moore yeah. LPs of two. Um, I would do Contra. Remember, What's that? Remember the dare you? Uh, uh, when you dared me to do Shadowgate 64. Oh yeah. Oh, let's talk about that. Dude, that was another fun LP that stood out. That stands out to me. Shadowgate sixty four, and I dared you to do it, and you did it. That's something that Skip Rogers wouldn't do. Yeah, it and... was very colorful. <laughs> yeah, J Man's commentary uh, in parts five and nine. ECW. Oh yeah, if we had like a uh, best, it was of, a... I would definitely nominate Shadowgate sixty four as the best 
one of the best LPs or commentaries done on the channel. That was what a series. That, that was is. A, that was a bitch to like record and to play. I bet because of no because of how like bad the emulation was for the N sixty four. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah eleven scenes. years ago, like geez. I yeah, that was like on a dinosaur of a PC with like yeah. less than a gig of RAM, and it was just like slug. Wow, I'm, yeah, I remember you had, you had to cut through the cutscenes because it was lagging too bad. It even lagged on the pause menu. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I, I, I think I think that whoever made the ROM made it shitty because it was like hey, you don't really want to play this. It's eh. <laughs> no, uh, it's just I, emulation. I, 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 yeah, probably like sixty four and everything. It was still. It was definitely it's quite so rough bad. back then. Man, yeah. But that was a fun LP. Like, J-Man's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Uh, he part, part 5, where he rage quitted. Yeah, because you know yeah. what? I, no, I, I just came so stupid. Is this the speed that it moves? Like, what the? And then uh, he rage quit. And there's a part where Gentoo says something funny. And then, like, you hear J-Man laugh, but it's a... It was a... Uh, it was a. It was, there was like a wooden horse, and I said something about riding the hardwood pony. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hardwood pony. And you heard yeah. we got laugh, but his laugh kind of mixed in with uh with everybody else's, and so you didn't really hear. I, I caught it, and uh, but I guess people at home w wouldn't have known uh, the difference, but I caught it. Uh, but and, and J Man, you know, he he didn't really rage quit, of course, but he he was still lurking. But uh, he, that was kind of that was planned, you know, like Star oh, Soldier's okay. rage quit was what? Mega Man Five. <laughs> <laughs> Also, this was the this was the LP that uh, Ron Moore was a serial killer because he murdered his chicken noodle soup on the stream. Oh yeah, I was sick, and you can hear me sip the chicken noodle soup. Not not on stream. Uh, the the Shadowgate uh, let's play. Uh, I forgot what part it was. Right. Yeah, and you go. No, you're killing our guest. You're killing our guest. Uh. The part yes. where the guy playing the fiddle, and we're also like guys. Like before we were recording, I'm like, we have to scream when he gets us. <laughs> hey, don't disturb, disturb me when I'm practicing. Hey, I remember uh, was it uh, was it part nine? Well, I wasn't in part nine. Um, and then that's when the bad guy, whoever he was, was chanting. Yeah, and I pointed it out. You go, wait, he's saying Ron Moore. Run, run, why was he? Why was he in this part? This is prophesized. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, when I would. Uh, I do love when I would just scream and just yell yeah. at uh yeah just the, such a thing yeah and that was that was, was a somebody fun. else uh, I don't know if it was in that part or not that looked just like Jim Leahy from Early Bird Boys uh, I, don't, I wouldn't doubt it. there's a lot of interesting models in that game <laughs> yeah oh yeah uh, I I remember one of them looked like a. Uh, he was real ugly. I don't know if you look at Mo from Three Stooges <laughs> like Mo, or like all the characters oh, the guy that, that took game. your coin. <laughs> oh yeah, and then the the bear coming after you and killing you, squeezing you to death. Yeah, that's where we're all going. <laughs> oh, what a big and, nice uh, hug. Yeah, and uh, and Candlejack. Oh yeah, he just kept cutting off our fucking sentences just because we were. Oh yeah, when that was a meme. Just um yeah, freaking eleven years ago. I, I thought that. I, I noticed that happened in town with no name. Rescue Prey made fun of it. Like, uh, listen to the tutorial to play the. game. Press start oh, yeah. now to get to the I town with no net. Yeah, and what's your pray goes? Should we play the game? <laughs> I remember being a part of that collaboration with Jeff. Yeah. That uh, one was funny. Yeah, it was. But I wanted to say real quick about Shadowgate 64. That that the game though was complete garbage. It was so boring. Um, I I remember in '99 I was so hyped about it. I told Venom 22. I said, dude, I got, I had the game in, re in reserve at freaking special effects. That's how bad I wanted the game because I thought it was going to be so cool because, you know, Shadowgate was cool and now it's going to be on the 64. Dude, and me, uh, Lewis had a, had a truck at the time. I didn't have a car yet. We were still in high school, I think. Um, and we went to go pick it up. We w went back to my place, started playing it, and I slowly started to realize this game is boring. Will it pick up soon? Like kind of like Twilight Princess starts out boring, but then when it picks up, it gets cool. And uh, but man, like it never did. And I was like, oh man, this game sucks. I messed up. I think I took it back. I some store credit for it or something. I forgot what happened. And Venom would make fun of me about it. You hyped that game up. Like I heard about it for years. I remember you hyped that game up. I'm like, I oh, know. Shut up. It sucks. 
It, remi it, remi it reminds me of when Eric, uh, Eric Man Super, a YouTuber named Eric Man Super, reviewed yeah, Where's yeah. Waldo for the NES. He yeah. was so hyped to play it. And he slowly, his face was smiling, and then he slowly started to diminish to a frown, and he realized this <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> and, and it's kind of like angry video game nerd and uh, Mike Matei playing Where's Waldo. I don't know if I've seen that one, but it, it also reminds me of uh, Dynamite Ducks. Happy Console <laughs> Gamer told his That's story. His That's uh, his favorite, yeah. he, he told the story about Dynamite Ducks. He bought it, he bought the game, took the bus home as a kid, couldn't wait to play it. And you get Blame home and you're so counter. so disappointed. And back then, you know, you didn't uh, really you know. Had to go by the box art. Yeah, box box art. There was no, I mean, there was internet back in '99, but it wasn't like it is now. For like, easily look up reviews or YouTube videos or whatever. Um, and like back in the day when we were rent video games at Blockbuster or whatever local store, Mr. Video, whatever uh, local video store you had. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and, you know, like in my case, I would spend the weekends with my dad. And I would freaking, I remember I rented one weekend Total Recall, jeez, and uh, Roger Rabbit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those games are such stinkers. And my weekend was ruined because those sucky yep. games. Is that it? You're, yeah, that's it. You got your selection. <laughs> yeah. Could you yeah, imagine if, like, like I think we talked about this before, J-Man. Like, what if we did get Action 52 for Christmas one year? Yeah. Your parents would be yeah. like, well, that's, that's your yeah, Christmas. That's, that's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. Yeah. yeah, you're done. This cost about, what, $200 at the time? Yeah, and, 200 Jeez, forget that. Like, man, I had never even heard of it back then anyway. I think, thankfully, I didn't. My dad would not have bought it anyway. Not for that price. Um, the cartridge no. overheat. Oh, yeah, the cartridge overheat from what AVGN said. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, my goodness. But uh, we never did that on S2K, did we? Sadly. Yeah, we never no. did Action 52. I think none of us wanted to. I'm surprised Gen 2 didn't. Gen 2 was going to do Superman 64, but I think he, he could even handle that. Oh, God, fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, it's like 64 Superman 64, I have a lot of bad memories tied to that game. Yeah, I never touched it. I've just seen it, and uh, yeah, it does not make me want to touch <sighs> it. Um, I don't want to fly through any more freaking hoops. Yeah, all right. Yeah, jeez, man. I saw Flying you through the damn hoops. Yeah. Until been... I saw the speed run on like awesome games done quick, and I'm like, is that how they really speedrun and they just play that crap on easy where there's no loops? Hey, awesome games done quick? I yeah, thought it's awesome. called awesome games done quick, not sucky games done quick. They have a block called awful games. Oh, okay. Um, I also did, if you guys remember, Contra, Super Contra, Turtles in Time. That was fun to do. Remember that, J-Man? Sure do. But yeah, they, and uh, Star Soldier and Jay started making, I think, their appearances around this time. They, they were in the Let's Discuss uh, part Two uh, of the less discuss, Jamie. Yeah, wasn't, uh, Jay, that, uh, wasn't that a uh, sausage sausage? Yeah, Jason Rexation and Star Soldier were on camera uh, doing the. Uh, th that's when he kind of got mad. He goes, "Why did you have to? Why Why did he message Star Soldier, not me?" I'm like, "I don't even Wait, no, I don't know you well enough yet. I just felt, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Like I don't know you. I, you know, I I know Star Soldier a little bit. Let me reach out to him. He can reach out to you. I just Speaking felt." Speaking he took it personally. Just, yeah, especially with the Super Mario 3 LP. Oh, yeah. The wee guy goes, like, he should be throwing some words. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and, like, he... That was a fun Let's Play to do. And he, like, it was the final part, and he... He wasn't happy about, I guess, us poking a little fun at him, which was not with with malicious intent. Uh, he, he just... We just cracked jokes about, uh... Yeah, uh, say something, Jay, or, uh... Uh, you know, I I think one of those dogs throwing bones at you on the airship or whatever it was, and I said, mm -hmm. "Oh, are they throwing bones or something?" And we got or Nico goes, "I I think he, Jay should try to throw words because he hasn't spoke much." <laughs> I, I forgot I could be savage back then as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he used to pull the hell out of bear. That shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did a little bit of poning on me in the beginning, and then well, I, I mean, was like, he usually start the shit though." So, yeah, it, and then they gave it be. right back. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I usually wouldn't, and not because I just kind of a little, not a pacifisty, but just I wouldn't be, 
I just it was like, oh yeah, Let's be the bigger it. man. <laughs> yep, and but sometimes when I have the great, uh, I forgot one of the things I said back to him once. It was good though. It was in the recording, obviously. Yeah, I'll pass a fist to your face. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And I was said this like for a long time. I said, like the in my opinion, the top commentators on um, the channel was you, J Man, and I say Star Soldier. I mean, man, like you, you, you three. In my opinion, were like the top commentators as far as zingers and uh, just funny one-liners and um. yeah, puns and all that stuff, man. And yeah, I, I just I just always thought like yeah, those guys like man, back 2009 to like 2000 was it 13 or 14 were I think or, or maybe a little bit, I forgot exactly like yeah, we were still doing it I guess full force all the way up to 2016. And then, like this when yeah. this when this when some of y'all uh, drifted apart, did your own thing, or we haven't talked in a while. And so I started getting new blood, like uh, Revenant Specter, Mexico, Bushido Blade Warrior, uh, Lady Zelda, and uh, Bio Phoenix. I think would still do things with us. And so, yeah, just getting new blood in there. Yeah, I was thinking Mexico I mean, could be the new uh, Wii guy. Because <laughs> uh, we're both of the same heritage, <laughs> or that, or y'all talk kind of a little bit fast, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of remind. I guess maybe it's the heritage thing. Also, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm Hispanic. I don't know if he's Hispanic or Mexican because Mexico. Although TV has yeah. put coal or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, and yeah. uh, uh, we interviewed Mega Dan. <laughs> we interviewed Mega Dan 29. I don't think he. I don't remember if he did commentary with us. I know Omega Ace Gaming was in Mel Gear Solid, one of the parts. I'm not sure if Mega Dan actually was, but we interviewed him, and I said he would be the new J Man, because uh, he can be a little uh, out there with with foul language. I don't think he drinks, but uh, I could see him being the new J Man if he was on board full time with SC Two K. Mexico's a new wee guy, uh, and that's oh, it. Oh well, then he'll never be the next J Man because mm -hmm. I haven't been full time since ugh, yeah. 2011. <laughs> yeah, 12, yeah. 11, somewhere around there. In 2010, J Man would do some LPs. He did uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and Wells, I know you did some more stuff, right? Well, okay, I was going to say earlier, you were talking about some Dinotron shit. I was going to say, well, Dino Wars. Dino oh, Wars. jeez. I guess yeah. I forgot about that. Love that game. Dino <laughs> Wars. Oh, my goodness, man. I liked that game as a kid. I really did. And then I, I don't know, I played it. It was like, fuck it. It's something for the SDK. It's still a decent game. He's like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> it's still all right. Yeah, it's pretty good still. Like, yeah, it's just so repetitive. It's it's you know you you, you got the the stage where you're the little guy and then you jump into the dinosaur and yeah, it's, it's murky. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the problem with that was there was nothing really to talk about. You know, like with Shattergate sixty four. The game is so fucked up. <laughs> There's <two laughs> uh -huh. yeah, you have a. Uh, it's hard to shit on Dino Wars because it's just planned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, mm -hmm. yeah, it was just there. Um, yeah, sometimes a bad game to LP was better than even just a good one. But even the good ones, it would still be just depending on uh, yeah. who you got in the commentary as well. I mean, so I, I also tried to steer with good games as well, you know. Batman, Jerry the Silius, Batman Tour of the Joker, Fester's Quest, uh, you know, that could be argued as a bad game, but I liked it. Silver Surfer, again, argued, but I it, it, I think it They're made only good commentary. The, no, the people will just say the games are just bad because you had to mash the button like crazy. Oh, because... yeah, a lot. Yeah, for Fester's and Silver Surfer, yeah, and there's yeah. ABGN, of course, mm -hmm. always people like, oh, you said it sucks, so I'll <laughs> hate it. But... There's a there's a whole lot more to appreciate in these games as I have done over the years. Uh, um, Silver Surfer was a good game because that rubber yeah. ducky was overpowered. <laughs> the rubber ducky, that's all right. Yeah, well, was there was there one boss that looked like Bret Hart? Oh yeah, Emperor. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Emperor. He had like the uh, sunglasses. Oh, this, that was the uh, freaking Mephesto. Mephes no, Mephesto was the vampire one. Who was the yeah. freaking space guy? Dang it. Talking about the final boss? No, not the um, space guy. No, it's like the literally the, of the five levels you pick. Professor. Uh, possessor. Okay. Pos pos yeah, Possessor. That sounds good. And also, Journey to Silius was probably uh, oh, yeah. one of my favorite LPs. That was watch. a good one, yeah. Because uh, 
journey to Silius just because Stomp Skeletons from Fighting, aka Happy Video Game Nerd, did it. I'm like, the wow, day, yeah. the soundtrack is amazing. It's a real banger. Indeed. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah definitely. One of my highlights of the talk in. And... Stage two, definitely. Uh... Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. E C W U. Yeah, and I would always have just little things to say about it because you know I was always looking up. I also learned about, about the cheat code for that game too. Oh yeah, you can just like I think you have to match like the B button like thirty something times. Yep. Um, and we kind of trying to think what else around that time frame, two thousand ten, two thousand eleven. Um, um, I know. I mean, I, mean, I, I, mean I have the. A... I'm sorry. What about original Shadowgate? Oh yes, I was oh, thinking yeah, about the earlier. Years, there we the go. Line. Shadowgate, another LP that stands yeah. out to me. Oh my goodness, part three. Let's predict how many times yeah. Ronnie will die, and J Man nailed it. Twice. That's right. Twice in part three and four, but part three is where oh. we had the funniest commentary. Oh my goodness, that was so fun to do. I was living in that D house at the time. And oh, yeah. uh, my good, that's where I met J Man actually when I still living in that house yeah. in 2012. Um, yeah. And uh, it was like August 2011 we did the Shellgate one. Uh, part one was my roommate at the time, Zach. Sadly, he passed away in 2019. Mm -hmm. But he's, he, it was, yeah, it was me, him, and Bear in part one. And Zach, I wish Zach would have been in more videos. He would have been a good commentator. He, he, that guy's a good speaker, a good storyteller like Tibbs. He would have been great. As one of the regulars on S2K. Um, Everything was in caps. Behold, it's a leather pouch! Yeah, <laughs> he's good at doing accents and all that stuff. Man, he would have been great if he, he was still done it in the long run on this channel. Um, <laughs> and then part two, I, f um, I forgot what happened in part two. It didn't really stand out to me. But part three, uh, me, Nico, J-Man, Bear. I think it was just us four, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, Bear was keeping track of the score. We got needs five more. J Man six, yeah. needs six more. And we got, he goes, I need seven more, you idiot, or something like that. <laughs> and he goes, No, no, you picked ten. No, I picked nine. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just argue with each other. And just, um, it, like, uh, that was so fun to do. I remember uh, just all the different deaths. And, like, J Man's like, Oh, uh, oh I got eight so far. I'm, I'm getting close. Unless he, do, unless he does the same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> like if I kill myself again with the same death or something. Is and, the one glitch in Shattergate where you can bypass the fire bridge? Yeah, I remember that with, with the, uh, the 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 Bowser looking the fire Drake, whatever it was. Like you go into the fire room and it kicks you out because you don't have the cloak. Then you die in the mirror room. Yeah, I remember that. Back into the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some of the most brutal ways to die. I found some game genie codes for <laughs> Shadowgate. Like, if you do something to kill yourself, you just uh, it'll, it'll describe how you die, but you're still there, and you can just move to the next room. Mm. Remember that one short video I did with Shadowgate? Uh, I just got on the first screen where I lit my character's hair on fire with the torch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Dexter's Lab, uh, the Dexter's lab clip where he's, his hair's on fire? My hair is on fire. My hair is My on, hair's fire. on fire. Yeah. That man where he shows the Grim Reaper of that. <laughs> you know what? What uh, LP? I kind of wish we would have maybe done, and we got would have tackled it for sure. Predator for the NES. Oh yeah, I enjoy that game. I finally, I, I finally played that game for the first time a few days ago. I did, I did it. I did a let's check out of it for my members, for members only on my channel. It's a members only video, and yeah, I finally did it. Uh, for years I've been saying, I need to do a let's check out. I need to do a let's check out. Never did it. And then it finally dawned on me, let this be a premium thing for members, like a little bonus for members to see. And so I did it for my members. And uh, yeah, but I kind of wish looking back on it now, like, or maybe, maybe you, because you would have patience and you were good at games without cheating. You would have, uh, I'm sure, beat the game, been patient with it. And that would have been an interesting project. I wish we would have we done. Oh yeah, for sure. There, there's a lot I wish uh, some games I knew about that I could have done. Uh, oh yeah, there's, we had. I mean, if we were still doing this full force, I wonder how what other games we would have done by now. Um, that we, yeah, I wish we would have done like Platoon. Ah, oh, Platoon. That would have been a We Got Project. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anything oh, in the yeah. would have probably been me. <laughs> yeah. Ghoul School. Are they old? What oh. now? What, say it again. Ghoul School. Oh yeah, yeah Ghoul School. Yeah. Well, you thought oh, you, heck yes. 
I saw how broken that game is now with like how people speed run it. Yeah, it's, it's, I remember you through the lockers. <laughs> I remember Jamie. I thought it was, the game looked like all brick yeah. wall, but it was like just a ROM glitch. <laughs> yeah, it was like either his ROM or his emulator. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else would he have? You know, I would. It would have been awesome if Star Soldier did his own LP and did Beyond Shadowgate for the Turbo Graphics 16. That was one I was going to do, but I couldn't get a, the CD part to work. Oh, yeah. You had some, Turbo Graphics. Yeah, you had some ideas that you wanted to do, but they got scrapped because of technical difficulties, right? Yeah, like I was working on Countdown Vampires. That's right. Oh, one of my... That was of the, like, yeah, ones I wish we had but, around. Because that commentary for, like, the first part was... Mm. It was on fire. It was yeah. so good. But hey, at least you got to do Resident Evil Survivor. Oh yeah, that was the last one I did. Yeah, that was. Did I request that? No, uh, Mexico dared me to. Oh wow! Another dare. Another dare. Wow, <laughs> Ernest dared you to do it. Wow. Yeah. I can't remember what, what what was LP he was doing. He's like, and Jintu, I dare you to do uh, Resident Evil Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was doing the ECW Chronicles. Or the, oh, the yeah, Umbrella Chronicles, it. yeah. That or um, Silent Hill 2, rest the Maria expansion, or, I think. Yeah, he was doing, at the time, he was doing Umbrella Chronicles. Mexico was. And part that was another game I wish I would have done, was the Silent Hill trilogy. Yeah, he did that too. Mm -hmm. did, didn't he do a, I think, or I think he did a, uh, a demo he did version. The Mar he did the Maria, uh, the Silent Restless Hill. Dreams part. Yeah, Restless Dreams, Hill. yeah. Yeah, that's right. In part nine, he called the Umbrella Chronicles part nine, the end, or is it? <laughs> yeah, and one uh, of the best jokes that Mexico ever does. Yeah, that and the yeah, but whose side is he on? <laughs> um, and what else around or 2011, 2012? Um, um, yeah, feel free to I jump in, guys, at any time, because I mean, we're kind of going off the top of our heads. There's so much content to go over. Yeah. Where I finished. Uh, Ninja Ninja Wait, I'm sorry. I got one. Go ahead, J-Man. Night Trap. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Oh, yeah, the make fun of. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was fun. Night Trap. Uh, and a discount like uh, yeah. Zach and Heath from yeah. Saved by the Bell. 15-year-old J-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. God damn it, Ronnie. <laughs> 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 you had a fake AC Slater brushing his teeth. Who goes around brushing their teeth like that all the time? Go to the restroom and do that. Why are you walking around? It just looks stupid. Are you going to impress the ladies? Are you think you're going to impress Oh, I'm, my I'm brushing my teeth for you girls. <laughs> yeah, discount Saved by the Bell. Rejects, man. That game. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Night Trap is available on the Switch and also on Steam. Wow. Okay, I'm going to say Go things. get it. Number one, number one, I completely ripped that footage. I did not play the game. Yeah, because right. you didn't show the UI, the entire UI, you just showed the FMV. <clears throat> yep. Well, I don't blame you. I wouldn't play that either. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> and number two, Dana Plato was hot as fuck. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can man. agree. That booty. Um. Booty, booty, dancing everywhere. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that we game was done, definitely. Like, all the... I'll go ahead. I was gonna say we should have done like all the Sega CD FMV games, like uh, what was it, <laughs> Double Switch, Corpse uh, Killer. I was oh, just yeah. thinking about just that god awful that, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers one. Ugh. Yeah, that one would probably get copywritten <laughs> by Hasbro. Oh uh -huh. man, that would have been a fun LP I could have done on the channel. The SNES version of Power Rangers. Oh, that was a good game. Yeah, yeah, I did that. That uh, was uh, back. honestly a good game. Even the fighting game one for the Genesis was the best one. I never played that one. That one was terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. No, I prefer the Super Nintendo, like just the beat 'em up one. That's how I feel what like the Power Rangers game should be. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the Power Rangers Fighting Edition. That one was okay. The ECW Agreed. Edition. The ECW range. The fighting ECW edition. There was also the Mario Kart clone. Did oh, Power yeah. Zio. Power Ranger Zio Racer. Um, man, you know what? We could have had fun with Mario Kart and F-Zero on this channel. Yeah, yeah, but there's not much to talk about. So, you know what I mean? 
It's just well, I mean, uh, maybe with F Zero, maybe, but like Mario Kart, my low budget review, that was fun to do. We had stuff to talk about. Um, I wish we yeah. had like capture cards back in that day, where yeah. you yeah. Jay Man and Bear going on PlayStation Home and trolling people. <laughs> <laughs> Does my character look like Uncle Fester, according to the bear? <laughs> wow. Yep. Uh, I remember that well, meme. That's, that's why that shit ain't around no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta shut it up. I remember that meme that Jinchu made where it shows someone getting thrown out the window after a meeting when someone suggests something. Yeah. And I think, what's, what should be the next LP? This or that. And someone's... Uh, I think, I, no, someone says, Shadow Gate 64, and it shows me throwing them out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means. Or simply Gentoo throwing them out the window. Uh, or, it as or Ron Boris, Boris, Boris. I got. Wait, hold on. What, who, yeah, who, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who was first to talk. <laughs> was it Jay? Oh, I said, or, or Bear pissing out the window. Oh, oh. jeez, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Also remember, I finished Ninja Gaiden because you didn't. Yeah, replay yeah, Ninja please. Gaiden. Like, what are you doing? I'm... You never finished it. Oh, and then you did two and three as well. The ancient ship of ECW, yes. the yep. Dark Sword of ECW. Yep. Yeah, I do need to. I need to rewatch those because I'm sure there were some goodies in there. Because I always loved third uh, one. Definitely. Yeah, the third. Yes, there is something with the third one. Like there's reminisce. Bionoid. The bite. The bite. Ah, oh, that's. That's where that's from. My brain was trying to connect that again recently. I was like, where's Bionoid from? I remember just thinking that. I was like, what's that from? Of course it was SC2K. Should have known. Yeah, yeah. it was all in all caps. Yeah, because every time it was, anything was on caps, you just yell it. Just uh, it so good. And yeah, I did total assist the fuck out of those three games. It's, I mean, it's fun, though. Yeah. Still. Buff Bagwell was Ninja Gaiden 2, right? There's a guy. Um, there's a guy uh, that looked like Buff Bagwell in the cutscenes. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm guessing he was nothing more than just a jobber. Buff Bagwell. I liked Buff when he was with the NWO. Before and after that. Psh. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but Buff. I, I remember I was doing the Double Dragon Two LP. Uh, J Man was in one of the parts with me, and I think yeah. he mentioned something about Shia LaBeouf, and I said something about Shia LaBeouf Bagwell, <laughs> <laughs> and J Man goes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf is terrible at screaming and yelling. Yeah, Jamie is favorite he actor. Will not no, um, what? Oh, say it again. He will not divide us. Oh yeah, jeez. But let's move on to something cool again. Um, yeah, let's, uh, I, Mortal Kombat. I got something cool for you. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat was good. Who? Mortal Kombat. Oh, Mortal yeah. Kombat. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Gentry did the arcade version, right? Yeah, I had to record that like three times, so I had to beat it three separate times. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless you. Because like, the recording didn't work. Oh, yeah. Uh, and plus you told me, oh, yeah. I was like, what character do you want me to play through the entire game? You're like, Raiden. And yeah. I'm like, crap. <laughs> like, damn. Why can't, why can't I be Goro? <laughs> right, be yeah. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, like in the part where uh, I think it was the mirror match where I had the computer locked down in a crouch and I kept mashing the jabs in wrong mode. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and J Man's like, really? I think I think J Man was in commentary yeah. with me. I forgot. It was Ron Moore, J Man, and Purple. Oh, yeah. Purple. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Big for Mortal <laughs> Kombat. But I don't think J Man was talking about that. But, um, uh, but yeah, I remember, uh, more, uh, that was that was a fun project I request because I could not record Mame on my computer at the time. Um, it took me a while to practice that too because I didn't know how to do the fatality for Raiden properly. Yeah. Um, we also had fun with uh, I think we also did Mortal Kombat two on the channel, right? I wouldn't I even do. Did. I wouldn't do that one. I know for sure. We all know that AI is bullshit in that game. I know for sure we did part three. No, I'm thinking low budget reviews. Never mind. Dang it. Let's little budget yeah. reviews. Uh, we have fun with those two, but uh, but on S two K, yeah, the Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter. I think it was Street Fighter: The World Warrior. I did a let's play of. I forgot. Um, I think I said something I should not have said, and had to record the commentary again. There was also <laughs> the LPs I gave the Wii guy to commentate. Oh, Mega I Man think, Four. I, uh, I was about Codename to say, Viper. Mega Four was. Yes. Oh. Codename Viper, Jackie Chan, Action Kung Fu. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, which is interesting. I think I remember. Yeah, we would do that, or it would be past the footage. But I'd be like, I'm, I'm, or uh, in charge of the let's play. <laughs> Codename Viper was fun, especially at the end of the game. Yes, yeah. for a time, didn't we both died? <laughs> oh yeah, that that was a fun <laughs> LP to do. Um, Mega Man Four. Uh, we're talking oh, about. That was a good one. Yeah, we talk about uh, Ringman stage. The music sounds like game show music or family feud music. You did, and I was like, "No, it's fine. It's just it's just regular Capcom NES music. Just yeah. it's got a jauntier mood or a BPM because yeah, it's a little more and, yeah, very upbeat. Yeah. And my friend Mazen Power um, was watching one of my streams. I was playing Mega Man Four, and I said something about uh, yeah, th listen to Ringman's music right here. It sounds like Ray Combs is about to come out, start introducing the. Uh, the the teams or something on sounds like game show host music and and Mazen goes and here comes the ECW family <laughs> and I just <laughs> lost it I started laughing <laughs> so hard <laughs> here comes the ECW family da -da 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 and <laughs> so that was that that reminded me of that and I remember the uh, let's discuss J Man instead of giving it a, a number like one out of ten he goes I give it a ah yep. <laughs> yeah, I put that on the screen. I just literally put, he put that on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like okay. Another part that I remember from that, I uh, don't remember the actual part, but uh, uh, back when I was with Purple, uh, there was like a I don't know, like a, a weird boss or something like that, and she was like, "Oh, that's cute," and oh, there was yeah. some discussion about it. <laughs> yeah, so, you, you keep it. It's like no. <laughs> yeah, the, the Mauser. I let her do every animal a little bit. She thought it was cute. This, she, this apartment would look like Ace and Yeah, it was like the Mausers and Ninja Turtles 3. And she's like, oh, they look like little doggy looking things. And, and you're like, they kill you. <laughs> like, I want one. No. No. No, that's Baxter Stockman. You can't have any. <laughs> yeah. Well, you. I thought you were Baxter Stockman. Danny? No, no. Actually, speaking uh, of that, uh, Ronnie had rats uh, and gave me one. So it's like, it's uh, for yeah. the name. Yeah. Oreo. Yeah, the rat. No, Oreo had passed away before. No, you know, uh, Oreo do that. Yeah, I got Snowflake, which I, uh, was the name. Yeah. yeah, I had to, uh, um, when I was moving, I couldn't take the rats <laughs> with me to my new place. So um, they didn't want the other rat because the other rat was uh, what's called feeble or um, like just... It didn't bite you, but it just was scared all the time. It wasn't fun to play with. And yeah. but the other one, Snowflake, was uh, an ECW rat. Yes, like, indeed. Like Oreo oh, yeah. on steroids. I <laughs> love that little fucker. <laughs> That's yeah. at the SDTK. Yeah. yeah. We had Oreo. Uh, yeah, she, she, uh, died on, uh, she died on Valentine's Day 2016. Jeez. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I remember, um, man, like uh, that, 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 apart that apartment I lived in. Uh, during that time where I was allowed to have rats, and the so the the videos I did at that time on S2K was, I, I try so I gotta go to the playlist and look again. I know I did some fun projects around that time, on the channel. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gen Two, do you want to talk about your projects you did? I know you did Super Dodgeball, I think something like that. That was my very first one, yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, what else did you do? Let's see. Uh, Super Dodgeball was the first one I did, then Shadowgate sixty four, which we talked about. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I did the Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we did Rocky and Bullwinkle. Which yeah. is another classic. Yeah. The ending. Yeah. I, mm. I also remember doing Resident Evil 1. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. That was fun. I lived in that apartment, too. That way yeah. I had the rats. You did that. That's yeah. right. You did that. I did the non commentary version for my channel, then. The commentary version would go to the ST2K. Yeah. That's okay. pretty ECW. Yeah, oh, but yeah. then I was going to do Resident Evil 2 and let people vote, but then people were like, you should do this one because it's canon, and I said I didn't want to do it because it was canon. I wanted to do it what people wanted to. Yeah. And it just kind of like ruined it for me. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to get into some ECW memories here. Oh, okay. uh, you you guys remember these? Um, let's play Deja Vu. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, that was so fun. That was when I was getting ready to move out of that house and into the apartment with the rats. Um, Deja Honestly, Vu. What was that? Deja Vu to me was like the weakest one in the in the NES ones. I think so, yeah. But it was it was still a good game. It was still fun to do on this 2K. It's just oh, the, yeah. it's just the mugger RNG. That's all. Yeah, and one one part was called Let's Play ECW Vu. Uh, <laughs> Dead Fan was in some of those. Nico, Bear, J-Man, uh, I think G Gentoo, you in some of those? I think that was in a, a few of the Deja Vu ones. Yeah, that was, <clears throat> man, that was fun to do. I mean, like, <laughs> you, you uh, I try to think of one of the deaths. Um, you, I know, like, well, I remember one part where I was trying to, was trying to buy the newspaper or something. You, you point and click at the newspaper and says, you can't do that. I'm like, what? <clears throat> and yes, I can. I got money. And then, um, you, I think, and then, uh, how come I can't pick that one? And Nico goes, because that's the one he put up there first. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, I grabbed this paper then. I forgot. Like, they were, it was picky which paper you had to grab. He, go, he had to grab the first one. Nico's like, because that's the one he put up there first. And I'm like, nee, nee, nee. and uh, <laughs> then he had some drunk come up to you on the street at random. And I think we said that's we got in 10 years or 20 years when he's homeless and drunk or something like that. I forgot. That, yeah. was, that was funny. And then um, you had a big 400-pound woman in the trunk of the car. And then uh, you can actually hit the woman. She's unconscious and gagged. You can yeah. hit her. And then, like, the, the narration goes, you hit her as the ripples of fat spread through her body or something like that. And Purple's like, is that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> uh. And the last part, or the, the second to the last, I think it's the last part, yeah, I got my nerves because you had to – Figure out, yeah, to get rid of all the evidence in the sewer or something yeah. like that, and then bring certain evidence that you needed to clear your name to the police station. And I had to look on YouTube to figure out how to do that because I kept on going to the police station, getting arrested again. I'm like, really? Yeah, uh, I remember you're trying to stream it and you you couldn't figure out how to discard it. Yeah, and there was, was one like stream soft locked. Yeah, there was one stream. I think you were watching it. I forgot yeah. to turn on the the sound for the, the background music for the video game. So the whole stream was in silence except for my voice. No video yeah. game music. And no one complained. Mm. No one oh, complained. You, saved, uh, you, you pulled a, what, a one-up gamer? I guess so. And I asked <laughs> Gentoo, I think, how come you didn't say anything? Oh, I just didn't really care. I just chill and enjoy your commentary. Mm. I'm like, okay. But I was like, that's why I always check sometime on stream. I, I thought the audio levels was working. According to OBS, it was working. But the output, no, it wasn't working. No one heard any music. And no one said anything. There was a few people in there, too. You'd think someone would say, I can hear the music. Nothing. Mm. No feedback. I'm like, grr. I'm like, that's why I was checking. I go, guys, can y'all hear everything? Uh, I think that was like the only game also that had a prostitute in the game. Oh, it was a woman that got out of Ooh. jail. And yeah. like she was hired, I guess, to take you out or something. But you. Oh, she was supposed to kill the the guy that was already dead. I think so. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, she was gonna go kill him, but that already happened. She looked like a young Marge Simpson. She had blue hair. Yeah. And her uh, name was Sugar Shack. Yeah, you could knock her out before she had the mm -hmm. chance to shoot you. Um, yeah. And then I did so something I was... where I, I did something where, but Bear and J Man didn't acknowledge it. I think because they were too busy commentating with each other, or arguing or something. I forgot. And I shot when she was unconscious. I shot her in the head. <laughs> it was game over. I got arrested. And I was hoping I would get a reaction from y'all, but I didn't. I was like, oh, dang it. That's all right. But, well, uh, you, you, you could have hit it and then died. <laughs> <from the piece>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did not equip condom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You put, oh, man. You, you, you select condom. You open condom. And you put what well, you want to put this on. Put on Pick on penis. You point it yourself. But it, I guess you put on self. You don't have the word penis on it. And then um, you proceed to use it. Use you realize it on, condom is broken. As you thrust, you do yeah. not care. Months yeah. later, you're laid up in a hospital bed. Uh, nine months <laughs> later, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know child support, uh, game over. <laughs> Yep. You um, you dirty so, wrong bastard! Why did you gonna do that? Well, you just go to the graveyard because you die of a STD. Yeah, <laughs> the, the game is called Knocked Up. No, um, the, no. the, the doctors did not accept your health care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the then there's game the was the game. Um, and so the next LP, of course, uninvited. Um, that was fun. Now we already did Shadowgate, so. I know that was 2011. This is 2013 right here. I decided to go ahead. 
I don't know why I didn't do it in succession, but whatever. Uh, uninvited was next. Oh man, that that was that was hilarious. That was one of my favorite ones to do. Uninvited. I was playing through the game, I think, for the first time. So that was like a blind run for me. I had to look up YouTube tutorials and stuff. And Gentry was in this, some parts of this because he gave me the clue where, in order to not die from that ghost in the back in the backyard, you have to have the candles lit or something. And yeah, that and the the ruby. The ruby you're that yeah. To, you're not supposed to pick it up. Yeah, or you end up getting possessed. That game was spooky, man. That was a Dude, pretty scary yeah. game. And yeah, I remember playing it younger, and that shit gave me nightmares. And, mm -hmm. like, one part, like, when you go upstairs, and there's rooms on the left and right, and there's a dead end yeah. in the hallway. Dude, that reminded me so much of the D house I lived in. Is that hallway. You go upstairs in, in the house I lived in. Creaky stairs, too. Old house. You go upstairs in the hallway. There's like there, there are two rooms on the left, just like in the game. One's the restroom, though. One's the, one the roommate's room. And then, but except uh, there's only two rooms on the right as well in real life. And I, I just I looked at it and said, man, is this D house the game? <laughs> what the heck, man? That's pretty spooky. That's when I, I started to play the game while I was in that house, too. I can vouch for that. Uh, yeah, that, that, the house looks like it was built before Texas became a state. It was actually built in 1919. <laughs> Sorry, right. well, damn it! It's built not to, but that's still old. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and but that was a fun LP to do. I remember, uh, I think it was in the closet, and I made a pun like, "I'm coming out the closet with this one." And Nico, Nico goes, "Ah, ah dang it! You stole my pun." <laughs> uh -uh. Star Soldiers on some of those parts. That's something, that, that's something I did back in 2019 was come out of the closet. <laughs> yep, lols. Yep, and uh, like I, I remember uh, just. Man, like that that LP right there, uninvited. And the, the, oh yeah, and all the lines we were saying, like when we got killed by Scarlet O'Hara, you tear me apart. Oh yeah, <laughs> and like I, I had the spray, the ghost be gone, and I tried to use it on her, but I forgot to, to open, open it, it first. Now I, I said, man, that's some BS. Come on, you got to open it first. Who would have thought that? I mean, in real life, yeah, but this is a game. Come on, and Star Trek is like, yeah, I agree. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I remember what. what we guys said something really stupid. I said, shut up before I cut you a knife one. Oh, yeah. We guy was, like, laughing about skeletini and the skeletini. Yeah, this freaking something in, like, one of the areas that just the names just look like Italian dishes. Yeah, he was like, skeletini and the stellini. How stellini got a groove back? All the, like, magic spells. Yeah, yeah. And one of the the wizard or whatever in the game looked like an evil Stuart Shafet. I think one of us said. I forgot. And he's the one you have to throw in the, in the black abyss, the, the bombless pit. Yeah, you had to leave him into the pit. Yeah, and if you don't do it right, I think he wakes up and throw you, throws you in the pit. Yeah. That was a fun game. I like it when you go in, in the cathedral and you go into the pit. It's like, don't go in there. That's spider's bad news. Yeah. And you just go in there and it's like, oh, yeah, there's a spider. He kills you. Yeah, it warns you like four times, I think, before you go down there. But you have to, of course, curiosity's sake. You can actually go back in there somewhere. Well, you can go back in there without dying? No, well, like, um, you know, in the frozen cave. Oh. There's like a room where, like, another path, and it leads to the spider. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and I remember the, the spider that you, uh, you had to spray the spider with spider cider. And you had to yeah. use it on that zombie Simon Belmont or whoever, the, whoever that was in that room. And zombie, like the butler. Yeah. He looked, the zombie kind of looked like one of my roommates if he was a zombie. Just the hair and the facial features. I go, That's my roommate Josh. What the heck? Like, uh, all, the death, all the death descriptions in that game were just wild. Yeah, for an like, game. Like, like he melts you with acid, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Pretty intense, yeah. More intense than Shoutgate's death. I remember there was that one room where there was like a, a jail cell and there was like a headless guy in there. Oh, you yeah. You just not decide to walk in there and you go like, oh, well, you're trapped in here now. You're dead. Right, yeah. Yeah, the music and in like, that game was awesome. Like almost oh, yeah. every freaking item, if you used on yourself, it would kill you. Yeah. Like knife one, knife two, axe, the fruit. Because yeah. the fruit would aid you every year, uh, a year every second. The, everything in that game is awesome. The, the soundtrack, that ECW soundtrack, and the objective was to rescue uh, We Got Sister, and uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, um, or Nico's oh, sister. Oh yeah, 
That was another in joke. The, uh, the baby sister just walked into the room. I, feel, yeah, I don't know yeah. which one that yeah. was in, but that was that was got possessed. And I gotta go rescue her. Yeah, oh, I just yeah. Played off that one. So, like in the PC version, it was uh, the roles were reversed. You we were playing as the girl, and you had to rescue the kid, the boy. Oh, oh okay. Well. You know, the final boss of the game is a sprite yeah. swap of uh, that banshee that screams at you in Shadowgate. Yeah. Oh, I was like, wow, because yeah. you go in the one of the coffin rooms. Remember the Shellgate, the slime that could kill you in the coffin room? But you open the first coffin on the left, a pink banshee or something like that uh, comes out screaming. It don't kill you. It just says you you can't hardly hear anything, but you're all right. It, it's yeah. a sprite swap of that pretty much. Like They took that and made it to the boss of Uninvited for the NES. The slime. It's like a pink kill. nightmare. Yeah. We also had the dogs. The dogs could kill you if you didn't use the Thunder Day spell. Oh yeah, those dogs look like Pete. Hi, all right, Pete. Hey, Daisy. Um, I miss Daisy. Oh my fuck! I remember Pete. Oh yeah, that, that dog was. Pete. God damn that damn <laughs> the gangster <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Ruh, 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 ruh. Come on, Pete. It's my friend. It's Pete. Ruh, 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 ruh. I don't give a fuck. I'll kill him. You take me off the string. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bring a bear out here. Thin <laughs> bear. <laughs> Actual bear. <laughs> yeah. Those dogs, though, in the game, look like more like once it, once one of them lunged at you, look like a freaking bear. Yeah. Rather than a mm -hmm. dog. Bear oh, routine? The, <laughs> yeah. that, that dog had bigger muscles than me. <laughs> Which, I mean, you know, it isn't, isn't hard to, <laughs> to imagine, but. Oh, damn. Yeah, um, <laughs> but that dog, uh, that dog was scared of the rats, though. As gangster as it was, <laughs> it was kind of afraid of the rats. <laughs> Did you ever play Deja Vu 2? No. Uh -huh. That would be that would have been probably another uh, project. Yeah. Been fun on the channel. Um, I remember that the annoying orange or whatever that enemy was in the maze. Oh Maybe. yeah, where you had to use the bird. I think we said that's bear. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, we got. Because everybody uh, has heard that the bird is the word. And uh, Nico, uh, no, I think uh, you got released the bird so that it will chase the bird. I think Nico yeah. said, "Oh, I guess I'll go after it." <laughs> 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 yeah, just you know, just lower. It would just make some ridiculous noises. That maze was annoying. I had to look up a tutorial on GameFAQs, like go right, left, right, left, left, up, left. That was so Pick annoying. Yeah. I was just thinking, oh, the maze. That has to be the Lost Woods. It was amazing. It was, oh. <laughs> jump, jump, slide to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so more of the videos I did when I moved into that apartment. Um, Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3. Uh, <clears throat> that was fun yep. to do. Um, yeah, the I am also excited for the Calabunga collection when it comes out. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Hopefully it's not like the uh, San Andreas definitive. Oh no! Um, no, they're just ports, though, right? It's uh, not like yeah, they're, yeah. they're not remastering and gonna screw it up then. It's just ports. No, all right, all right, cool, cool. Uh, one of the parts I named Ninja Turtles Two was uh, adult adult mutant karate turtles. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, let's play AMKT Two, the Mame game. Uh, and then Ninja Turtles 3, what did I name some of those? The ECW Project. Uh, part 6 was funny, because I think it was like an outtake. Part, oh, part 5, I forgot, dang it. 5 or 6, one of them, like, it took multiple takes for us to get started, because I would go, welk, welk, I would butcher, butcher the word, welcome to, <laughs> I'm sorry, let's start over, hold on, hold on. Ready, 3, 2, well, welcome, <laughs> Dang it, hold on. And then I did it again the third time, but I let that in. I said, no, forget it. We'll do it live. And we just went with it. <laughs> and um, after my Ninja Turtles LPs, that's when I did, quote, let's finally play Mortal Kombat for the arcade. Oh, yeah. A good time. And then after that, I did Fazanadu. That was a fun LP in 2014. It's a good game. Oh, yeah. Star Soldiers. Yeah. was good. Star Soldiers. I think in part one, Jefferson commented with me, and you, you go to this part where you're supposed. To, it's like a hospital, and I said I was reading the the, the dialogue, and I and I was saying like, "Oh, you don't have Obamacare. Get out of here." 
<laughs> so so I left the hospital, <laughs> whatever I did. And that's a, that's a fun that was a fun game. Uh Jamie was on some parts of that, Fazanadu. Great game. Indeed. Great soundtrack. And I did a game that Star Soldier hates with a passion. Let's play Mega Man Five. <laughs> oh yeah, that whole thing. That's such a weird and Star Soldier that. was not joking either when he bashed the game the entire OP. We would argue back and forth with him. But the rage quit was planned, obviously. It was funny. Um, he goes, you know what? You guys are stupid. I'm out of here. Screw this. And then, like, he <laughs> supposedly – and I think uh, that was when uh, – I mean, we guys like – or me and Nico's like, dang it. Uh, uh, oh, he quit. He raised, just hung up the call. <laughs> well, forget him then. Good. Get him out of here. <laughs> He don't know what a good game is. Anyway, and we continue with the, the, the less is play discuss. And then after me and Nico did our review, our, our rating, all right, guys, that's it. That's it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And Star Charger goes, oh, hell no. no. We're not done yet. Hold on. I go, whoa, wait a minute. You're, you're here? You can hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys from the toilet because that's where this game belongs or something like that. And he said a bunch of stuff about <laughs> Mega Man 5. And he goes, the game is so freaking easy. And I said, ECW? And it was just the argument, the back and forth was hilarious. Um, I call that witty banter, but Mega Man 5 is honestly really good. Yeah, I loved Mega Man 5. Yeah. Um, yeah. Soundtrack was great. And Star Wars was mm -hmm. like, everything is pink. Why is the Pro Man's Castle pink? <laughs> just nitpicking everything. <laughs> And Dra Gravity Man stage, I'm like, well, it's pretty cool, though. I don't know if any other NES game at the time we could walk upside down. He's like, no, Metal Storm. And Metal so Storm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, but it was fun. Like, the banter between me and Star Soldier was uh, funny for Mega Man 5. Um, and, that's, and that's what matters. Um, and that's what mattered. Hang on. That's what mattered. But I gave up after Mega Man 4. Yeah. Yeah, and I did. Um, I did, as I mentioned before, the Double Dragon, Double Dragon One, Two, and Three LPs. Uh, one of them I call Let's Play Single Dragon because Double Dragon One was single player. Um, mm -hmm. God, I wish we we got to upload the co-ops on the STT. Oh game. yeah, those videos. Oh man, that was good with you and uh, uh, Nico. Our yeah. yeah, our co-op. They are they sadly lost the time, but I the memories are still there for me. That's for sure. I kept resetting it. Yeah, you <laughs> little 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 che cheeky over on Netplay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> playing that game. Yeah, where the memory <laughs> remains. I just I just I also remember the uh, I forget what mission it was. It was just like mission seven trap room. Do you have herpes? It's just like yeah. another thing that just sticks out. Just like the mission commentary seven. on that. Someone uh, someone posted on the S2K Facebook years ago saying, "Hey, um, what happened to yeah. Two and we guys co op of of Double Dragon Two or Super C or whatever?" I forgot what he was asking. We did that one too. Yeah, we did a few. The Double Dragon Two Contra Super C. We tried to do Contra Force, but we gave up because of how freaking slow it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Can you force it? it? Yeah. There was no force behind it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could probably. I think we tried to do Nightmare on Elm Street, but it kept unsyncing. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was yeah. weird. No, that, yeah, was that, was a, that was a nightmare on any street. We also did Super Spike V-Ball for a few shorts. Yeah. Oh, the ball hog in that one. We lost on the exercise level. I was like, why? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> why would you do this? But it was epic because I did the Leroy Jenkins and spiked it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Leroy Jenkins. Wow, it's rushing all the memories. I'm routinely hitting the A button. Maybe I should hit the B button. Because after I yelled it, and it, it hit the enemy, and it did the kaboom, and it knocked him out. Yes. That's the best part of that goddamn game. I just kill him with the volleyball. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, you killed the man. Yep. I think he's down for the count. Um, he's down for the count. Oh, that just reminded me. I, I was I mentioned in my members only video of Predator. I said, I wish Gen Two was in this commentary because he knows how to do a perfect Schwarzenegger. I was like, I was going, come on, the video's here. Come on, watch it, watch it now. Watch it now. Come on, click it, click it now. Do it now. Yeah. Do it now. And when I got to the Predator. I was like, uh oh, there he he's here! Come on, I'm here! Kill me! Kill me now! Kill me now! Come on! Yeah, do it! Get in the trouble! 
Get to the top. I made some. Danny, I don't know if you watched it yet, but I made some uh, Chris Hansen references too in that video. <laughs> I need to watch it. <laughs> yeah. And, um. Uh, so I did Double Dragon three after that. I'm, okay, I, I'm, I remember oh, uh, Double Dragon three. Uh, I was fighting the the stage four boss when you're in Italy, and he's a big buff dude. And yeah. uh, Nico goes, man, he's got, he's got a buff chest. And then mm -hmm. Purple goes, nice observation, wee guy. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's true. Just, just saying, he has a buff chest. Jeez. That was fun to do. Double Dragon 3. I know the game isn't the best, but the soundtrack, ECW. Mm-hmm. Yes. Double Dragon 3, the ECW Stones. Agreed. That was probably the best version of Double Dragon 3. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yep. Green K4's Let's Play. Yeah, you can't forget hear the original on the Genesis. Here we go. Yeah, we go. We got, that's we, a classic. We got to talk about Green K4's LP. Yeah. Where he never, oh, you, you know we can't hear. You can't hear us. The audio was <laughs> drowned us out. In Magic School Bus. <laughs> yeah. Fashion. That was yeah, the, the Magic School Bus, said, yeah. And he goes like, I think at the beginning, because he had Mac, and it said like, strictly butthurt. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was great. Right. <gasps> that, was, that was in response. <laughs> that was in response to the April Fool's joke. No, 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 no. It was Angel, yeah. right? But see, that, but he uploaded that part one month later, so the joke was old by then. Yeah. And yep. it's like, oh, dude, come on. But, yeah, I mean, Green K, he, 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 he contributed to the channel a lot with commentaries. But when he did, I think, was that the only LP he did? He even finished the game. Like, I know. I didn't no. Know. Well, okay, here, here's, here's the legit. We weren't going to talk shit because I think he's in the fucking mafia. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his mafia contacts. <laughs> and his baby uh, brother. Yeah, his baby brother. contacts or just straight up mafia? Well, his baby brother has grown up now, so he remembers the jokes we yeah. cracked about him. So they're both, yeah. we're both on we, their we list. Gotta, we gotta Remember that time I put <laughs> Green versus his baby brother and No Mercy? Oh, yeah, SC2KCW? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> was also uh, Chun Li 309 versus Gen 2? Uh, yeah, yeah. Bear 13. Yeah, we got, we got <laughs> the world's strongest woman match. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. where it came from. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember We Got's classic laugh. <laughs> The car engine the laugh, old man yeah. laugh was starting a car. I think I know it was Star Tropics where Green goes. The car never starts. Was it Green that said that? Like, oh, the car, the car never starts. Or, it no, just no, no. blows up. No, he goes. It, it sounds line. like someone's trying to start a car. And then um, I think uh, in Showergate, we got did his laugh again, and, I, and he goes, "Oh, the car never starts." And then I said, mm. "The car dies. That's another death." <laughs> yeah, there it is. And so after my Double Dragon, now into 2015 here, Double Dragon 3, I did Beavis and Butthead. That was fun. Yeah. J-Man was in some of those. Yeah. yeah. It was Weavis yeah. and Butman. Butt -Man. Yeah, Weavis and Butt-Man. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah. Like Rocky Bullwinkle type. Yeah, 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 man. Shut yeah, up. Exactly. Shut up, Weavis. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that kind of thing again. <laughs> and then J-Man broke character in one part. He goes, okay, that was funny. <laughs> and then we just start, start, start talking normal again. <laughs> I still watch Beavis and Butthead. Hell oh, yeah, me too. All right, and Some where they're in the wood shop. Mm. With the, oh, yeah, oh. The, Tom Anderson. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Thank you so. I'm, I'm. I sound like a fucking Southern Baptist. <laughs> but, <laughs> aren't you the kids that spray painted my cat's butt? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> 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 That was the uh, that was like somebody else stuff. <laughs> Remember the Jeffrey Dahmer reference in there? God, I don't oh, no. the, the psycho killer. Yeah, they thought like they they found blood and it goes like here's a dollar. No way, we're gonna remember it. Here's a dollar, and they're like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. The they give him a dead one. Yeah, they give him a dead bird and they go like, here's yes. twenty bucks. But he was uh, like. That's a cool dude. You know, give him a dead bird and some kid gives you twenty dollars. I wanna be like that sometime. And then uh, head was Shut up, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> if SC two K was um uh Beavis and Butthead, uh Butthead would be J Man. We uh, Nico would be yeah. Beavis. And we got would be Beavis, totally. Mm -hmm. And Stuart would have been Jeff. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
Yeah, Stewart would have been Jeff. Hey, you know what? Mm-hmm. I, I, that time where they kidnapped Stewart, tr- held him for ransom, for ran- ransom, and then like they yeah. they grabbed him by his hair, ah! and they, they kidnapped him. <laughs> like he was mm-hmm. watching TV with him. Oh, Balky, I love him. And just like w- watching TV and all that stuff, and then like Beers and Bud just grabbed him by the hair and try to hold him for ransom. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go off topic, but uh, Ronnie, you are the ABC master of fucking shows. You said Balky, Perfect Strangers. You, you know all that shit. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I mean, I watched all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got I got changed what I said, though. But J-Man would not be Butthead. He would be Todd. Jason Todd? No, Todd from Beers and Butthead. Oh. The, oh, then, the, the gang leader, man, Todd, yeah. You want to be in my gang, get in my fucking trunk? I would be Butthead. My car trunk. I probably know. I'm going to talk about Bear 13 Maybe would be I'm Butthead. Bear <laughs> Bear Thir- would be Vin Dreesen. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Bear would have been Butthead. Bear would, know, yeah, Bear would have been Butthead. And we got uh, Nico would have been Beavis. And then yeah. J-Man would have been Todd. I guess I'll be Mr. Vengeance. Whatever, we guys gotta be uh, uh, Beavis because that just it fucking fits. Yeah, and um, oh, yeah, the episode probably. the episode where Todd shoved the phone up Stewart's dad's ass and it was ringing because but no, that was uh that wasn't Todd. What? Oh, it was uh someone's. Oh Harry no, you're Sacks. right. It wasn't Todd. It was some drunk guy that they prank called or some. Because yeah. his name was Harry Sacks. Yeah, Harry Sacks. <laughs> and then they he traced it back to Stewart's dad somehow. I forgot. Because Butthead had their uh, stole their mail. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought it was Todd, but uh, yeah, yeah. I know. I remember now. Some drunk guy in a white beater or something like that. I forgot, and then he tried to track down. Uh, he Stuart. had a caller ID called Butthead's house. He goes like, "Hey, you guys want a free pizza?" Oh yeah, <laughs> and then like uh, the phone was ringing. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <Yeah. laughs> Great. Now we're gonna have to have a Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, my, yeah. Like, I seriously, <laughs> like that could be in the near future. Shoot, I'm down. Um, There's tons of material. Also down. I'm down. Um, I'm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. down. I'm down. down. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Gentry does it better. I don't think yeah. Gentry feels like it though tonight. But no, I could do some of it. Yeah, he's like only when I feel like it. <laughs> you know, I, I I actually did it one time where I did the entire lyrics for "Down with the Sickness" in Arnold's voice. <laughs> that sounds funny. Oh. Must have been rough. Yeah. <laughs> I got down with the sickness. I don't even sound like Swarsen. I sound like some uh, I, I sound like I don't know some uh, no, not surfer dude. To, you get down with the sickness, dude. <laughs> I don't know some get Cali- down with the sickness, like, dude. Like Californ- California. Why do they have Swarsley wear pink in the video game except for Big Mode? I don't understand. But anyway. Uh, color contrast. <clears throat> well, yeah, I know, I know the color contrast part, but like, why even have it be pink to begin with? Like in the regular stages. I, know, I think that was a Japanese move because that's what developed the game, actually, which is funny. It's always funny. Like, like, yeah, get a Japanese company to develop the this um, game based on American property. Yeah, just like with Friday the 13th. That's right. They that, probably that, was, about that was Atlas what on that one. Was? Yeah, and the they reason he was you. purple. <gasps> Jason was purple. That's right. It's all. It's that's dark. right. <laughs> and Batman was purple. Oh my god! Well, I can understand <laughs> why. Maybe Batman was purple because the the contrast. The reason, why contrast. Jason, the reason why I think Jason was purple was because the poster for Friday the Thirteenth Part Three in Japan, Jason looked like he was a wearing a shade of purple in the outfit. Um, so they that, went, so they make the movie poster. That would make it was sense. The, it was the clothes that his mom made him. And he's like, damn it, mom! Oh, yeah, the Japan I, poster does look like it's purple. On, now I gotta go and kill people because you made me a shitty outfit. Then there was a yeah. company that actually made the NES Jason um, yeah. action figure. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They also did the NES Batman one, too. Yes. They need to remake Predator for the NES. Like, remake it to the today and like you can play as his other friends uh jesse ventura i don't know whatever the names are carl weathers yeah uh, t hawk from street fighter where the indian guy's name was um i don't know yeah that that would have been cool and like you that was like the uh, like the original what was it untouchables no that's not the name of it now the the, the thing that came out later that they had like everybody in it 
Oh, the you Expendables, mean, the ECWs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Expendables. Yeah. There's a game like that where it has like every like famous action character from the movies, but they're all like have bro in their name called Bro Force. Huh. Yeah. Oh, and they all got pros, bro. <laughs> um. Oh, I did Punch Out, but the the, the Mister Dream version. Um. Uh, one of them I, call, I called Hawaii, Hawaii. Let's play Hawaiian Punch Out. Um. <laughs> Hawaiian. I don't know why I picked the Mr. Dream I version, probably because the Mike Tyson one has been done to death, and I mean, they're the same game Copyrights, anyway, probably. No, it wasn't even that at all, because I've done a lot of Mike Tyson's punch out on yeah. YouTube. Um, my little budget review got copyrighted because of Hi the Tiger, which I understand. Uh, but, yeah. uh, um, yeah. and that was Swindoll's very first Survivor's appearance, I think. What was that? Oh, I said Survivor's got to survive. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, here's a fun LP I remember. Lil Nemo, mm -hmm. the ECW Master. Oh. That was a good game. Great game. Great hunter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Um. There's something with the little Nemo. Yeah. The part three was little emo, the ECW master, which I did. Yeah. I, I did a members only stream of that uh, last month, uh, or, or maybe the first of this month. Little emo, the ECW master. Um. Part four, little emo, the nightmare rookie. Uh. Part five, big emo, the nightmare master. And yeah, that was a fun LP. I mean, I know there was a ROM hacker that did a ROM hack for Little Nemo, and don't look it up. It's disgusting. That's right. Oh, huh. Yep. Wow. Um, part three was The House of Toys. I call it The House of ECW. Great soundtrack, too. Yeah. Great soundtrack and ending. Okay, this is an LP that Jeff is not a big fan of The Goonies, too. Um,. Why not? Uh, he just did. I goes, really, Ronnie? And Alyssa goes, really, Ronnie? The, the Goonies, too. Really? Uh, yeah, really. Come on. Of course, that soundtrack. Goonies are ECW enough. Um, and Basically, didn't it have like, the same soundtrack as the first game, just with added stuff? I didn't even play the first uh, game, so I don't know. Changed up enough. Yeah. And then in 2016. What? Oh, go ahead. Was there a first game? I think that was the only one. No, Japanese the, version. Uh, yeah, the first oh, one had like a time limit. That, yeah. that doesn't fucking count. <laughs> it's <laughs> not canon. What you... Well, the first game was based off the movie, right? They already, they, they, they already made all our favorite heroes purple. Yeah. I mean, pink. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, they did, didn't come out with Super Mario Bros. 2. They just took another game, Doki Doki Panic. What? That should be enough. Ah. Okay. So, so the first Goonies was based off the movie, and then Goonies Two was just like a sequel of the movie, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, just Konami made up stuff. They were just like, "Here we go." Ah. Yeah. And then something that Netflix would probably do. If yeah. Goonies came out in the uh. modern time. And then in 2016, I started to do uh, re less replay because I wanted to go back and finish the games I didn't finish. Uh, Dirty Harry, um, Shinobi 3. I mean, some of these uh, less plays I use footage from World of Long Plays or whatever and gave them credit for it. And thus they said on their channel they don't care if we use their footage as long as we give them credit. And because uh, some of these games I could not get through, and I don't feel like recording through. I'm like, forget this. I'm using World of Long Plays footage. There was also that one guy who got mad because you used his footage and he copyright struck you. Yeah. And here's the thing like, his footage was. Just like Word of Long Plays, like, and that confused me. I'm like, he was using, he was just playing Ocarina of Time. There was no commentary or anything. And I linked yeah. the footage to his channel and gave him credit. No. And he, like, struck it down. You don't own the rights to this. I didn't give you permission. And I'm like, well, you know, you don't really own Ocarina of Time either as far as the copyright is concerned. So the, mm -hmm. the only company that we really have, should have the legal right to, copyright strike any of us in this regard is Nintendo and like he got uh, he never responded to my claim to lift the claim so the strikes just went away on their own after a few months and uh, I said to myself you know I'm, I'm either not going to do that anymore or just stick with World of Long Plays because they say on their channel you, you, you're free to use our footage just got to give us credit in the description or in the video and just let, let people know where you got the footage from yeah. World Long Plays, I never had any problems with them. 
and I'm sure they know I've taken their footage because uh, as a montage channel now, you will be notified if there's footage, if the algorithm detects si similar content to what you, uh, you put out. It will say, hey, check this content. Uh, some of your uh, footage is in this uh, video or whatever, and you can determine, oh, no, that's not mine. Because I get notifications sometimes saying someone may Hey, don't be a D-bag. Yeah, no, no, it, no. It'll say uh, I get notifications from the YouTube algorithm and, and the YouTube studio saying, "Check this video. Uh, it may contain content from your channel." And I'm like, "Huh? And if it does, I don't care really. I mean, I'm, you know, I can copyright strike anybody." And they, but none of it was like, "Let's play Mega Man 6." And I thought, "Oh, someone, I guess, pulled a Ron Moore and took took my footage, which is fine," but they didn't. But you will be notified, especially if it's 100 percent. A content match, you would be notified. I'm sure World Long Plays with their monetized channel, they would have found out by now of me taking their footage all these years, but they never said anything, never complained. And there was yeah. one uh, video I did. Let's check out Daydream and Davy. And I, oh, um, I was. It was not from World Long Plays though. And I thought, what if I don't know who this guy is, but what if he finds out? I suppose I, you know I took his footage and he gets butt hurt, even though I gave him credit. So I reached out to him, and he goes, no, dude, thanks for the credit. You can take any footage you want from me any time. And I said, oh, that was cool. Thanks. Yeah, if I ever do, I'll definitely give you credit. And, like, I would not care if someone took my raw footage, and even if they didn't give me credit for it, I might call them out and say, hey, uh, well, thanks for using my footage. I wish you gave me credit, but I wouldn't flat go as far as strike them down. Because if I was doing footage like that, I would, like, man, feel free to take it. Like raw footage for your LPs or for commentary purposes. I mean, Retro Prey did the same thing. They took World of Long Place footage and would commentate over the town with no name and Minnesota Fats, and and they gave him credit for it. And you yeah. know, so cool. So what's the well, problem? The problem. Plus, there's like it's it was fair use because they were doing like a, the what is it the mystery science theater thing style. Yeah, well, it's just uh, the commentary itself. Falls under yeah, yeah, it does, and we added commentary on the Zelda video and gave him credit. I mean, I would have been. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's something worse happened. Remember, my, I had a, a wrestling channel for a brief period, J Man, and uh, someone on YouTube had Starcade footage, uh, Dean Malenko versus Ultimo Dragon. I took that okay. same footage and uploaded to my wrestling channel. He finds out. He gets butt hurt. He didn't flag or anything. He goes, "Hey, man, uh, you took my footage. I know I did the same thing, but this is not done." What? You just no, admitted I mean, you took the footage. You just admitted, first oh, of all, that God. you did the same thing. Second, <laughs> WWE, WWE has the right to take this down anyway, not you. Now, what yeah. are you talking? So he made no sense. He contradicted himself. He goes, "I know I did the yeah. same thing, but well, but nothing." <laughs> well, I put, I put like a five second edit in there, so it's mine now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And I hate when people <laughs> upload wrestling footage or uh, something that's not theirs at all, and they put a freaking whole intro. Like, unless you do commentary over it or review, that's fine. But if it's like simple wrestling footage, not not edited or anything, and they, they put a whole freaking yours. intro in it, <laughs> they put a freaking intro in it. Like, if I if I was just uploading WrestleMania 30 raw, no editing, no commentary on my part, just as is. When it aired, and I put a freaking raw more intro at the beginning. What am I doing? That's not my video to put an intro in. So stop that. We want to see the wrestling. I mean, you know, we want to see. We don't want to see the intro that you had no in a video that you had no part of, except uploading it. Remember, Baby Putty Cat? When I would watch the step by step sitcom on YouTube. That's uh, yep. That's D bag. No, it's someone else. Um, what? Yeah, it's someone else. Oh, and um, D Bag was the Onision video where Onision was doing a parody saying, Someone, oh, right. you know, and yeah. then I, I said, People hands. are taking this seriously. And this girl goes, Really, D Bag? It's for real. I was like, no. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, step by step, D by bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I said something about uh, the, okay, the last episode of Step by Step was so distorted and messed up now granted it was the network's fault it was something on the network's end that where she was recording off the tv but i and you know she had no control over that and that's fine but there was nothing in the description box because i read the description of all videos i go to except for all the links and extra advertisements i skip all that just the, the main description mm -hmm. and it did not give us a warning no warning or anything 
this is a distorted episode, but I uploaded it because it might be a while before they get back around to the, the rotation of the episodes. So this is the best I could do. Nothing. And all I did was say, oh, it, it would have been nice if, if you would have given us a warning. And her and a few other people came after me like, oh, well, she, you know, you can't get mad at her. She made these episodes for you. Uh, what? She did not make these episodes. What do you mean? All she did was upload the episode. She didn't. Is her name Miller Boyette Productions? <laughs> did she direct <laughs> step by step? No, what do you mean make these? And I know what they mean, like she uploaded them. Yeah, but she gave no warning uh, that it was so distorted. And it looked like you were trying to watch a wrestling pay-per-view, but it's all squiggly because you didn't order it. Remember that back in the day? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and like, I, have, I have a confession. It was me! No, it wasn't. <laughs> it's me, Ron Moore. J-Man turns heel <laughs> on uh, Ron Moore <laughs> and uh, Matt, uh, Mexico. But whose side is he on? Um... <laughs> And so, yeah, I did, oh, I did let's, let's Replay Barbie. And I finally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I found me, Bear, and J-Man, I think. We're, no, we're not, no, it was me. No, the, in the original one, it was me, Bear, and J-Man. In the finished version of 2016, it was me, Bio Phoenix, and Jeff. And um, after that, I did what we guy never got to finish doing because of technical difficulties. Let's play Donkey Kong Country 3. Yep. And this is toward the end where, uh, like, some of this 2K originals kind of left on their own. I think Wig was still with us at the time, but he was get, doing Twitch stuff, I think, by 2016. Um, yeah. And so, like, but me and I, a few uh, new blood started joining. And then by late 2016, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the GameCube version, was Let's Play Twilight Princess. And that's what I'm currently streaming now on my channel. Uh, hopefully I'll stream it again in a few days to, to continue. Because that's going to take months to finish. Jeez, I am so sucky at Twilight Princess. And I have, I'm so rusty. I was never good at the game to begin with. Um, but on SC2K, you know, that was a fun project. It was long, but fun. Part 8, you know, um, that was where Tibbs said he, he knew he belonged. Because he was having so much fun on the channel during that time. And, uh, yeah, I went ahead and finished uh, Twilight Princess. That was one of the best projects that stood out to me. That was also the year I just started going downhill because I was just hooked on uh, Final Fantasy XIV online. Oh, well. I think I would try to get you in commentary sometime. But yeah, because I was, I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. And you said, I, no, I got a raid going on tonight. Yeah, I did, like, raids and stuff. And I was like, oh, I okay. Took a I took a break this raid tier because I just wasn't happy with how the expansion launched for Ann Walker. Yeah. Like, they did Ninja really bad. And there was no medic! No, nah, but Ninja's in a good spot now, so the Samurais are just having the worst time. And the Let's Play Discuss of Twilight Princess, that was an hour and a half long. I remember I uploaded that, and it was kind of bittersweet. I was like, man, I put in the description... <laughs> Something about man. Uh, as I finished uploading this, I said, "Man, this is really it." Uh, let's see, December or three months of of doing this project, and I was like, "Dang, it's over already." That was that was fun to do, Twilight Princess. Thanks to World Long Plays for allowing us to use footage. Uh, me personally, I remember some of those like you'd message me, and it was like, "All right, you got forty five minutes," and it's like, oh. <laughs> "Yeah." All right, 45 minutes. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll, I'll try to throw some buddy in there, but... <laughs> I remember I sent Bio Phoenix one part of something. I forgot. It was an hour long. He goes, yeah, I'll do it. And then he clicked on the link. Oh, wait, an hour? No, I can't do it. <laughs> I guess I should have said something like, uh, you know, uh, oh, is this the long one? I should have. I should say in advance. Uh, especially but, if it's... I mean, then again, I mean, if, you know, if you chop it up, and it's going to be like 68 parts, and then, well, yeah, I don't know. that's too many parts. I remember seeing uh, Mother 3, part 83. I'm like, whoa. Well, then again, it's a long game. I guess it makes sense. Or back then, there was a time limit. Jeez. Um, oh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, 2009. Yeah. 11. Yeah, you're 11 minutes. 11, I believe. That was the reason I had to cancel Countdown Vampires, because I had the more than 10 minute thing. But then, uh, C then I got hit with a copyright strike by CBS because I did the CSI uh, 
or Giles Dean goes well with Justin Bieber getting shot. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. On CSI. That's uh, bullshit. That's yeah. Bullshit. Why is CBS going after small time? Because <laughs> they are what they are. So what the hell? I know, well, but I. Uh, it took my uh, upload pr- privileges, so I couldn't upload Countdown Vampires. I think that was the, uh, no, not the algorithm, what's it called? Content ID, it could det- automatically detect uh, yeah. content match and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but I mean, that, that, that sounds like that was CBS directly. Um, like, uh, okay, uh, in, in my case, yeah, I know it's not SG2K, but on my channel, I had the Trailer Park Boys, that's a Jim Leahy video. Yeah. And it, of course, wasn't taken down, but it was, uh, it was, it, it got copyrights. Now, at the, at this time, this was a little later, but it it, it got uh, okay. Trailer Park Boys themselves, or whatever team works for them, and also SwearNet was uh, taking revenue that I wasn't earning because I don't give a shit about that. But they both. Claimed on that. What? Yeah. Well, I, I, I only have 500 subscribers. What? Are you, what? That's lame. You, you ain't gonna make shit off this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck making money off of us. What's Jeez. The, what's the fuck? Yeah. Anyway. Um. And yeah. a, after Twilight Princess, I started Mega Man Seven. And this is an interesting one. This was We Guys' last appearance with us. Oh, that's what it was. And it was weird. Like I don't know what happened, but um, and I, I like We Guys got famous. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Nope. Like, I don't know. Like I was, I, 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 I was confused. I was like, uh, it was one night where we had to finish up uh, part two of Mega Man Seven. <laughs> I messed up on the editing and I accidentally cut out the boss battle. And me and Bio Phoenix and and Nico were in the, the uh, part two. And uh, I said, oh, hey, uh, tonight you have two minutes, just literally two minutes uh, to record the boss battle. I messed up, edited it out. And they said, okay. And a wee guy uh, was in the stream, and I was in there. And he said, yeah, I'll do it after the stream. And then, like, I, ne- I, I never heard from wee guy again. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? What Just disappeared. I'm like, what the heck happened? And for a while, to be honest, I was I was not happy. I was pissed. I was like, well, "Fine then." And I mean, bah. And that was sadly the last time we kind of did anything mm-hmm. on this channel. And I, I, at first, I was thinking, and I had no problem with, like, I was I was like, "Okay, we got wants to just do Twitch now. I'm fine with that. That's no problem." But I was like, "Man, not a good buy or nothing. Just gone." So me and Bob Phoenix had to finish the end. I think I said something about, "Well, we got disappeared, but we'll see you guys later," <laughs> something like that. So, yeah, I'm getting called out, but <laughs> yeah, who knows back then? Yeah, and exactly. I don't, I don't care about it now. But I was just like, man, man uh, what about a goodbye? Or like, yeah, I, I just don't want to do this anymore. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I wish we could have gave you a send off because you were like a real integral part of this channel for years. It was the Bio Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Bio Phoenix. That's why I didn't. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I was just <laughs> like, and then. Um, until one day at random, as the SC2K Twitch account, I went to your stream, and you're like, whoa, SC2K, hey, how's it going? What the heck? My old commentary buddies. And I typed F you, and I left. No, I'm kidding. I didn't do that. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no, uh, no, but I was, but then, like, I just uh, reconnected with a uh, wee guy, I think, uh, a few years ago. Started coming to his streams every now and then on Twitch. And uh, turns out we cool, we, cool. Know, we know some of the same people. Uh, Andy Social Network mm-hmm, and yes. uh, Miss Ashley says hi. Ash says hi. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ash said hi. Yeah, and then we kind of reconnected from there a little bit. Um, and sometimes I would tag you in old videos. Or hey, we got remember this one, and uh, you didn't respond on on Twitter, but you I think would tell me in the stream. Yeah, sorry, I'm not good at getting back to people on. Twitter or whatever, but yeah, I got I got your old I got your tags with the old stuff we did. That was good times, and yeah, like I would still go back and watch some of that stuff. And uh, so interesting, Mega Man Seven was like we got his last appearance. He like disappeared. Uh, he got yeah. St- he got sucked it, into the it, void of Twitch. No, 
a little bit, I guess. It is unfortunate if it was like, yeah, like a, just a drift away without a proper like having that uh, like, yeah, I think I'm done, which it, yeah, it was kind of it was pretty much that as well, but that reminds me all the times that not to cut you off there, Nico, but that reminds me the times that I pinned to your Twitch streams on live as I talk about the S2 TK and Ron. Oh. Yeah, that was a couple years back. And I'm like, really? You forgot about me? <laughs> I remember like I uh I sometimes I would like crack jokes in certain videos like was it Minnesota Fats? And uh, I think I forgot, Nico, if you lived in Vegas or wherever you lived at the time or near there. Um, I was, and I was, no, I was born there, <laughs> but I've always been around Oregon or in there. Yeah, and I think I said something about a uh, uh, Minnesota Fats. He was traveling to Las Vegas. I said, "Oh, as we got here, hey, we got what? Are you too good for us now? Come back here." And I was just, we just <laughs> laugh about it. And uh, but yeah, like uh, I remember that. So Mega Man Seven was like was your last appearance, and. Uh, yeah, so that was kind of sad, but then like we just we just moved on with with other stuff and just uh, I guess you just became a part of the S2K alumni. And then I always wonder, I said, what happened? We I guess he want, he's still doing his eight bit stereo or or he's doing his stuff on Twitch, which is cool. I know you've grown on Twitch, you monetize, you got a fan base, and nope. uh, and that's cool because I, I mean that well, I, I'm 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 into streaming too. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I meant like no no monetizing anymore. Funny enough, it's now flipped. Now I'm pretty much like eh to Twitch because you know. With the, the new the, revenue split just the site itself yeah all of their business decisions and personally with people i have i did know and found out like how they really are also it's just kind of like wow this is uh this kind of soured the uh the platform that i once enjoyed kind of being on yeah and categories yeah. like the retro category was kind of you know you, you you see cool people like ash and uh and andy but there's a or lot more. you got marin uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, of course, she's great too. Yeah, this is one of my. Yeah, she's that's, enjoyable. That's one of my OGs, but it's just yeah. And then I decided, you know, I'll take my affiliate off, and I haven't streamed since like October of last year, and now I'm kind of oh, like since back. our birth months for me, Ron, you, and yeah, yeah, around that time, and I just kind of now focused more back to YouTube. Of course, Apester has always been the constant work on, but now I'm doing other kind of projects, video game music involved. Yeah. I think I told you all back. Um, I just I want to say that uh, Twitch as well, like the the history only goes back to thirty videos. So it's there's there's never a complete library of what you've recorded. Oh, like thirty days, yeah. Unless you actively archive it yourself, yeah. You have yeah. to manually archive it yourself, yeah. Yeah, I hate that. Well, but... it seems like nobody fucking does that. So it's like. Yeah. Man, there's there's actually channels that I wanted to subscribe to on that platform, but it's uh, well, why do it? Uh, I can't archive, or I mean, I can't search their archives because they didn't archive it on YouTube. It's automatic. Why yeah. the fuck yeah. don't we just do that? In the bull crap of Twitch, is DMCA. I guess because uh, oh yeah, the DMCA, all that. Oh yeah, it's all so sucky. I guess because oh, Twitch, yeah. Twitch is mainly a streaming site. It's not a video sharing site like YouTube is meant to be. Yeah. And so I guess that's why on YouTube is easier to archive, I guess. Yeah. Also, I think when, they're going cheap. They're going cheap. It's like, remember okay. when Metallica was playing at oh, BlizzCon? I'm going to hold that bandwidth. Oh, the Meta oh, oh that is so ironic. The Metallica performance. <laughs> yeah, that like it was streaming on Twitch, but it wasn't playing the Metallica music. It was playing like copyright free music over it yeah because <laughs> that's oh <laughs> what a laugh that was i was like i wonder what nico's doing right now if he's watching this <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard about it i definitely heard about it so i was like oh my gosh were you entering sandman i was <laughs> i was filled with saint anger <laughs> <laughs> um and I did a GoldenEye LP on the channel. That was fun. Now, this is toward the end there where uh, it was New Blood in the commentary scene. I think you had a Lady Zelda, a.k.a. Victoria, who me and Tibbs know from a Zelda group on Facebook. Tibbs, and she is amazing, by the way. Yes, yeah, she is. She hasn't done commentary with us in a while. She hasn't really had time to. Um, but, I mean, she would do stuff with us, not just Zelda, but GoldenEye, Mexico started doing stuff with us. 
as well a lot. Ravenous Spectre. Uh, and yeah. Ravenous so, Spectre was cool. Yeah, he is. And uh, so, yeah, now I'm going to the parts here on my second playlist where, yeah, and then I, now I'm at the end with Metal Gear Solid. And that was it, man. Um, when was, hold on, let me click on this real quick. Let's play Discuss Metal Gear Solid. When was this uploaded, actually? When was the project officially? April 9th of 2021. So okay, <laughs> that's the last nice. LP, the last part of the LP that was ever done, especially by me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, someone had put uh, Woodstock mm -hmm. 99 posted. Oh. And waiting for the next PlayStation movies. I also record them on the channel, but I want to see more on others. That's why I'm recording PlayStation. Please welcome. What? Anyway, well, thank you, Woodstock 99. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what, what you were saying there, but hey, thank you. Um. Uh, yeah, that sounds like some Google Translate shit. Maybe so. I don't think I've seen the comment till now. Uh, Mexico posted, this was great. I always enjoy these LPs. Thanks. To, and that was that was the end. That was the last LP. And I didn't make up my mind that that would be it. But it's just, uh, that was that's it. Life. That's life. That's life. And we got, um, I got to end it here pretty soon. We kind of got, we gone over two hour mark. And I mean, man, we could, yeah. we could have wanted to had the free time. We could do this all night talking about everything. There's so yeah. much to talk about. I mean, I don't know what else to say on my end, except um, we had a great S2K shows as well. Uh, the <clears> discussion <throat> panel, favorite video game, favorite movies, uh, favorite whatever. Uh, I mean, uh, those are fun to do. The interviews we did with people. Uh, this channel, we had so much content over the years. And for those of you who listen to this that are not familiar with a lot of our content, I mean, you can just go back and watch all of our stuff. We have different playlists, the S2K shows. Uh, Mexico actually did it, the top 10 videos in S2K as of, as of 2021. He was going by most viewed. Yeah. Most viewed. And Jeff's Let's Play, uh, Let's Play of Plumbers got most of that list um, because of the view count. And, uh, yeah. and Minnesota Fats, that was a fun commentary we did. And, I mean, the list goes on and on. Nico's Let's Plays, Gentoo's. Uh, I mean... Yeah. There was also uh, J-Man's Defenders of the Crown Royal. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Dun, 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 Defenders dun, dun, of the Crown dun. Royal. There you go, man. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I mean, yeah, so I I don't know what else to say on my end. I mean, we've we've uh, covered, I guess, almost everything as far as the, the things that really stand out the most, especially from 2009 till I would say, what, 20... Uh, 13 or 14, I think. We're, we're really in full force. The uh, golden oh, years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the golden years. Uh, man. Definitely. Uh, you know, after, after doing all this talking about all this memory stuff, I kind of want to go back and do it again. Yeah, I mean, at, like, if you guys ever want to do anything on the channel, you're welcome to. I'm, I'm done. I'll join in commentary, but I'm not going to do any projects other than, like, stuff like this. Yeah. Um. And but like, if you guys ever want to, you know, do a live stream or LP or a video, or whatever, like, and you want to invite me to take part, I'm down with that. Um. But so the S2K channel is not completely dead. It's just uh, like as far dormant. as it's it's been dormant for a while, but it's still that don't mean we're not going to do anything on the channel anymore. Um, it's on it's on the life support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know what? I'm still gonna like. Some of you might have seen my Rawmor archives streams or videos where I replay my old stuff. I'm going to start doing that on this channel. And people can, as a premiere, and people can appear in the chat and just talk about it. They have to come in and chill and we're reminiscing on the old content that's playing. Uh, like, I'll do that every once in a while. But as far as Let's Plays, yeah, I'm done. I think I, it was, it's time for me to stop that. Like, I don't enjoy doing it anymore. And it was fun while it lasted. And I'm just streaming now. Cool, cool. Uh, so, um, mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'd like to, I'd like to add. I'd like to add that my favorites were Batman with Wee Guy. That's fucking awesome. Uh, the Job Podcast. Yes. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Uh, the thing that I was in I, there, there was one that I wasn't in. But um, anyways, um, of course, Shadowgate and yep. Shadowgate sixty four. Yep. Fuck yeah. And uh, right on Gen 2 for the Defender of the Crown Royal. Yeah. Yep. And lastly, lastly, the NFL podcast. Oh, jeez. Wow. 
<laughs> you talk about football nerd. Oh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> that, that deserves to be Reggie Parade. <laughs> man. We got everything wrong. <laughs> Every yeah. new one. Yeah, yeah. But that's what's fantastic about this. Is you can get it all wrong. But it's a nice distraction from everyday life. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean we especially two thousand nine, two thousand ten, the late yeah. the late nights where we can stay up late. Yeah. Yes, two thousand ten oh, was late the best. Nights. Yeah. Two thousand ten was the absolute best because the the you know the the, 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 the Charlie thing was that was done over with and then it was yeah. Oh yeah. there's one more oh. LP. What's that? Um, the Streets of Rage remake. Oh, oh yeah, that was. How fun. could I forget that? Cool. Well, we got went like ballistic because you said Gen Two on steroids. Yeah, oh, for some reason, yes. that just that just broke me for some reason. I, I forgot know. about that. And there's Gen Two on steroids. <laughs> and oh. then uh, and Gen Two goes seems legit, and we I was just lost it. <laughs> Yeah, gosh. Now I have to. That yeah, you know, I, I gotta just suck it up, deal with my cringy self, and listen to a lot of those old. Yeah. So I can remember. Well, at, at least I know. At least I don't cringe. I go back and I like. I I love it. I appreciate that. Sometimes yeah. we all cringe at ourselves because I guess we we we've grown and come yeah. as, you know come so far yeah. as far as quality and commentary and whatever. Like yeah, there's some things I go back and listen to myself, and I'm like, oh, that's not funny. Why I say that? Or like the women in the kitchen jokes I kept making. Yeah, and then uh, what's the name? Oh, uh, 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 the the girl that uh, I think her name was Sarah, the one that did my logo and stuff. And like she would like kind of she wouldn't get mad. She she had a good sense of humor. She would just like in Discord or wherever on YouTube like, oh really? Another kitchen joke, Gen two. <laughs> so that <laughs> so that was funny. Um, now she didn't get mad at that at all. And I don't think Chris Shanka got mad either. Like, oh, another woman kitchen joke. Ha ha. But they weren't like, especially Lady Zelda, she would laugh her butt off at that. Yeah, she wouldn't care. So Well, that's just real women. Yeah. They don't get offended by, you know, little jokes. Yeah, dumb yeah. jokes like that. Yeah. Like if I would have yeah. said stuff like that, like, currently, we would probably be, like, canceled and banned on YouTube. Yeah, there is, there is amazingly <laughs> yeah. some stuff that was said in 29, or 2009 and 10, that if, like, yeah, actively still said in... Videos today, it would, it would be a bit uh, people that'd be like, "Hey, that ain't a little bit too sensitive, too risque." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, the, 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 the power of the stars turned to black white. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cancel culture. Yeah, jeez. Uh, yeah. uh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jinto, uh, you have anything to say before we go? Anything? Anything like uh, one last uh. Uh, mention of some good memories you had on the channel? Um, yeah. It was fun. And that's it. Thank you, Bear. Um, <laughs> no, uh, no, but, uh, no, no, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Short and sweet. If that's all you have to say. But that's, that's something Bear would say, like, um, yeah, it's good. Sorry, I'm a slow thinker. <laughs> well, I remember, like, Bear would try to do the less discuss. Um, this game's all right. Nine out of ten. That's right. Yeah, it'd, just, it'd be so quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, kind of like Jay of Jay Synchronization. Oh, that's all right. Give nine out of ten. Star Search. Oh, come on, Jay. Say more than that. <laughs> and uh, I lost all my brain cells from all the head banging back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you did uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, Danny. The past. 12 years and the moment that S2K started never had any more time with catching up to old things from everybody's uh, part of collabing into the channel and also my two cents while adding into the uh, channel as well even though some of it is done by myself like the streams of Mega Man and everything which is a callback to the older stuff so yeah Having a great time with all the times that I've been needed on Discord. Yeah. And this is J-Man's last appearance on Discord. It's a one-time yeah. thing. Appearance. Yeah. <laughs> or is it in the Nightmare on Elm Street music place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. What, J Man still there? Uh oh. Nope, he's already uh, d oh. uninstalled. Oh. He already uninstalled it? <laughs> 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 oh, wait. Well, that was fast. Wait, are you there, J Man? I thought I heard him. Oh. Hello? Damn it. Oh, are you in the restroom? <laughs> Faint, damn it. He's in the restroom. Sounds like he's in the bathroom. Hey, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, Nico, what do you have to say about S2K before we sound off and some of your memories oh. and all that good stuff? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, God, I'm, I'm, I'm still perplexed thinking like, wait, how did I... What happened to getting to join here? I don't know if you found me because you're like, oh, this. I I don't even know. I'm I'm now. I'm trying to think. Who did I? Where were the connections? I think Masterhand been... brought you here. Really? Did I know Masterhand. Oh my god! You know what? There might be something in that connection where I knew him because of something. It's so. Is it a group? I. <laughs> I'm really like getting all these rush of memories because of like a Skype and like certain groups I was in or who I knew. Definitely, probably something of that nature. Yes. Yeah, I think. Oh, I, I think back we, to me. I, know, I think we did that first job podcast that got deleted, and you were in it. I think with me, uh, J Man, and Masterhand. Yeah, I think oh, I was bro, part was of it, but I had no place. job, obviously. So it was like, <laughs> I got nothing to I guess say. You're just there to hang out. Mm -hmm. So I think we met you through Masterhand. I think so, because I think I did have him on Skype, but. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, then it just led to being like, oh, you know, what am I? I'm just a 16 year old, just in high school, not don't got much else to do. So let me just start doing some of these commentaries with these random dudes on the internet. Yeah. And yeah. These boomers. What am I even boomers. doing with these boomers? I was now of the age that you are now. I think when I first met you. Gosh. Yeah. Twelve. Thirteen. No. 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 I, I'm, what I meant what? was. What I meant was. You're about 28 years old now, right? Yep, right now, yeah. <laughs> I was Wow, um, Ron, you remember. I, I was um I was 28 when I went, when I met you, I think. I might have still been like 15 or something, which <laughs> You were 15 cuz later on that wow. year it was sweet 16. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got Holton in the room. Take a seat. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's amazing cuz Doing that now, that'd be so risque. So yeah, let's invite this this teen, this fifteen year old, to join these <laughs> yeah. <of> adults. <laughs> but obviously, it was all through the love of gaming and just that, yeah. like let's playing right. and commentarying. Which, right. because of doing my own, you know, attempting to let's play on my own channel, you know, I had some idea of like how to talk and such. And then it yeah. all just yeah led to. From there to being in the golden years of like 2009 to like 2014, 15. And there's definitely a lot of good times. There. A lot of memories, a lot of the quotes, the things we've said that I just always think about. It is a wonderful thing that I was glad to be a part of. You know, it's part of my internet history, you know, which yeah. I got to remember that I've, I've kind of terrible as far as like trying to not like delete my past, but I kind of don't recognize it. like all, a lot of my old let's plays and stuff i did in like 2008 those are gone obviously but SUDK is i think now the oldest thing that i've been a part of as far as youtube and the internet yeah and uh as much as i cringe say i cringe in my old commentary i think it's just because i back then i had my it was excitement i had you know optimism you know and that you know obviously i it could be seen as cringy by others as well because just you know being a teen but I, f I felt i had the love and passion there and i need to just see it as that now when going back and watching but yeah it, everything was fun with you know hanging out too because that's this, this is also kind of like half the thing too because you know half the time yeah. we just stay, also stay up after recording and just yeah. talk about shit yeah all the nights we were playing counter-strike 2d Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you always led me on to a lot of the online stuff, online games that I would just yeah. take in and play. Yeah, that one time you actually won because I forgot to buy a bomb defusal kit. <laughs> yes. Oh no, that's just rushing in a lot of the memories. And if you ever want to like, 
I don't know if you want to do it because it's cringy, like you said, but like I have a flashback uh, playlist or something on your channel and say, uh, we got flashback uh, or whatever. Um, and like you could take some of the content you did on S2K and upload on your channel and be like, yeah, this is some of the stuff I did way, way back in the day. This mm. is like throwback Nico back when I was known as we guy. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, I mean, at least. Well, when, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like when you came in. I Wait, I mean, it's not that much of a shameless plug. I mean, yeah, shameless plug. No, I, I, I wouldn't would even like. Suggestion. I mean, it's not even that. It's just because, like I said, we're kind of done with this channel. So <laughs> what do we have to get? I mean, we're not trying to be like, uh, oh yeah, come on, put more, bring us more uh, uh, viewers, subscribers. We're not going to do much. <laughs> so it's just, it's kind of like uh, this is what I did on a collab channel I was a part of years ago. Yeah, and... I said that when you showed up on my Twitch. I was like, yeah, I used to be a part of this. You can check it out if you want, but I don't know if I would actively be like, yeah, take a look at it, because again, I would still be like, ah, it was cringy back then, and a lot of things we said may not be as PC as they are today yeah. or wouldn't uh, be, but I mean, it is. it was what it was literally 12, 10 years ago. PCW. Yeah, a different world back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah YouTube was a totally different ball game. Remember, YouTube used to have the whole broadcast yourself like that slogan, and when that was taken yep. away, that's when I felt it really died. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I noticed that too. And I got, we got you, I mean, dang it, I did it again. Nico, um, <laughs> you uh, were a part of the channel, I think, for like eight years of doing yeah. uh, commentary yeah. with this. I know you stopped doing your own LPs like way before mm -hmm. that, I think, but you still. Well, like participate in commentary, yeah. and yeah, uh, so yeah, I had a long history. You were there for like most of the channel's lifespan. Yeah, um, at least, and I I don't regret any of it, obviously, and um, I do uh say again, I am sorry that my disappearance did kind of le uh leave off on that sort of just like bitter note, but yeah, well, I mean. I saw wonder, what wonder, water under a bridge, wander under a bridge, yeah, yeah. A wander under, water under a bridge. So you know, all's forgiven, all that stuff. And uh, well, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, I, it's not like I'm like, oh yeah, it all sucked because no, it didn't. It was all great. So yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it was pretty positive. Mostly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, man, we had a lot of great times on this channel. Like, I'm glad. Oh, I'm, glad I'm so glad I made this channel. We gotta, we gotta kind of give Master Hand credit for that <laughs> indirectly. <laughs> the one yeah. thing, yeah. Spawning that channel stood up, by the way. Um, I checked it out. Yeah. I know it's dead, but I mean, like, it is. I was curiosity. Of course, our, like, my let's plays were taken down a long time ago, which is fine. I get it. You know, he's like, oh well, you want to start your own channel, and you know, fine. Then I'll just take yours. Which you know, I don't care. But well, well now in in addition to that. Um, you know, the the original idea of Irate Gamer Fanboys Inc. was ideas from Master Hand in Charlie. Yep. We had nothing to do with that. Yeah, that's true. It was supposed to be what well, S2K ended up being. Yes. It's a fun co collab that channel. That because, what? I mean, it was supposed to be a joke. You right. know, and then they turned into actual irate gamer praise. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Like, and then, man, this shit is whack. This dude is uh, saying, "No, I'm the only one playing," and and it's just fire and ice. And yeah, well, and then, yeah, and then in, in like in the description box, he's throwing up, throwing up irate gamer. What the fuck, man? This is this isn't what we sought out for. Yeah. This is stupid. Yeah, and I remember talking to you about it. Um, I think it probably. Yep. I said I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna make a. I think about making a collab yep. channel of our own. Um, call it SC2K oh, okay. based off the forum website, whatever. And I know you weren't a fan of the name at first, and I get it. I was not. I was not. But. Man, I'm glad, like, at least it's a name that's different or unique, or I thought it was. You look it up now, there's other S2K channels, but this, like, so, not to rip us off, it's, like, something completely different, but I don't know what the heck it is. I, I don't know if they're, I think they're dead channels, I'm not sure, but I looked up S2K and I seen other channels with the same name, I go, wait a minute, what? But I don't even know what those channels are, it's, like, something completely different, not video game related, but, you know, we, I just came up with that name. At least it was different, like something, you know, like, okay, I don't know what this 
what SC2K is, but here's the con the context of the channel. The purpose is let's plays, podcasts, and it's supposed to be a laid back, fun channel. And man, we fulfilled that, and we did it. Like th this, in that regard, that this channel was successful. Uh, not statistically, as far as like blowing up or subscribers or view count or money. Like we didn't care about that. We wanted to uh, have fun on the channel and. Boy, we we exceeded that. Hell yeah! I wanted to call it the Steak Show. Yeah, the Steak. Yeah, I mean, you just call it that, the Steak Show. <laughs> I mean, yeah. all right. Surprising, surprising. No one ever thought that. Yeah, the Steak Show. Guys, guys never talk about steak, isn't it? S T A S two A. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, Mister Billy Mitchell. <laughs> No, oh, keep him away. Yeah. I try and sell his hot sauce on the steak. Yeah, he's trying to. He's trying to pretend uh, that, that he has a reputation. Okay, anyways, thinks it's hot sauce, but it's actually ketchup. <laughs> it's <a> spicy <laughs> ketchup. Probably. You got to put some hot sauce on that hot sauce, and then it's maybe hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> well, SC2K, hard... SC2K was hot for a while, mm -hmm. especially that first yep. year where we delved into it. And we were actually doing it. Man, what an ECW man, year, 2009. Yeah. Man, I, I got to go 2010. That was, man, you know, again, there was, uh, you know, we got over the, the Charlie and, yeah, his shit, with L1 games and, you know, mixtape and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we and really went out on. Yeah, we, that was awesome. Yeah, we, I will never forget that. That was every. Jeez, I, I, I sound like a like I'm about to cry or something. The the the, the really that was awesome. Yeah, the, it was absolutely fantastic. The April Fool's joke, 2010. Yeah, <laughs> which we uh, well, okay, I fucked up. Um. I'll, I'll talk about it again. Uh, the initial plan was for us to be in a, uh, a Let's Play. I don't remember which one it was, but we start getting an argument. Yeah. And then that, that was supposed to start to drown. Um, but I fucked that up um, because I was, uh, I was tripping on acid. And, yeah. Thanks, Kenny. Green Tongue Man. Yeah. Well, we still pulled it off, and it was funnier than what it was intended to be, because of Charlie talking trash yes, about us. And the butt hurt. Yes, the butt hurt really sold. Yeah, like, and it, you know, it looked like it looked like he was on my side actually, because he was talking smack to you. Yes, call me a fourteen-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Jamie I said he was problem. acting like a fourteen-year-old girl or something over that whole stupid situation, which. That the whole thing sucked. That was sad, but and you know, whether we liked him or not, Charlie, you know, that first year before the falling out, he did some stuff with us. He was willing to do things out of his comfort zone, you know, Nintendo games. He was all about Sega, but he supported us, and he was, you know, it was a big part of the channel beginning, because he was kind of tired of the Master Hand thing too, and uh, he was on board with us. But unfortunately, he had that falling out. But other than that, I mean, you know, he 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 did his part yeah. contributing. Uh, but man, like we had a, a ton and, of and taking away. What's that? And taking away. Oh, take remember away. the whole purgatory. Oh yeah, the the the, the uh, shows in purgatory. Yeah, I'm like okay, whatever. But we moved on past that and just continued, you know, doing our thing. And uh, this yep. channel was successful as a result of that. And I have all you guys to thank, even Charlie from back then, you know, and uh, people that don't do commentary with us and yet done anything in years everybody that participated did their part and i think all you yeah. guys you know uh, j-man nico uh, danny gentu star soldier even jason Rexation. uh <laughs> i mean uh, you know everybody bio phoenix uh, mexico lady zelda so many people to name thank all you guys for helping make sc2k what it is and for those of you who are listening to this you're not too familiar with the history we encourage you just to go back and watch your old stuff i mean man it was yeah. fun, it was fun times absolutely and with that said, uh, we are out of here. Hope you guys have a great night. I'm Ron Moore. Jay, man.
Well, tell me a wonderful otherwise, Bushido Blade. Follow the black cat. Uh, G Burbs or a Cajun tube. And Nico Tengoku, formerly the Wii guy. And Bear Nico. 13. And Bear 13. Oh, God. oh sure. Yeah, peace and God bless. And also thank Bear, too, for his contribution. And see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And take care. Peace. Bless the Jedi. Later, potato. Hey. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Son of... No, I'm kidding. Yeah.